Alrighty, hello, hello. Hope you're all doing well today. Sorry that I'm late. I left my phone in the other room, so when my uh, alarm went off, I did not hear it. So I was honk shooing. I was honk shooing for a while. I guess catching up on sleep since I was up late for a while there. But we're good. We're back. We gotta kick the freaking obsidian dwarves out. Okay, no more coping, malding, or seething. We'll just win and then we'll move on with our lives and get towards all clan. Okay, stupid, stinky dwarves. Uh, Alexander the Great, thank you for the 15 months. I do appreciate it. Uh, Pigmanator, hello. Vlacod, hello. Nim, hello. Uh, Nookor, Morton Salas, Universe Waffle, Mark of Bark, Weapon in Space. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, Goblin. Goblin D. Znoots. Nice. Got him. Got him. Uh, Sir Xerxes, hello. How are you? Uh, why did you die on YouTube? Uh, Baldur's Gate. Um, laziness, but mostly Baldur's Gate that led into the laziness. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, was playing a lot of Baldur's Gate, like all the time, on stream, off stream, and so I just kind of let the YouTubes go, unfortunately. But you know, we back, we back with the Corvoria, the vampires. Uh, also, how does the mic sound? Can you actually hear me? Why did nobody tell me? That my mic was so quiet. Not that it's your fault. I mean, it's my fault. I should have realized it. You know, it, that's on me. But chat, come on. But like, I was so quiet. Like, I was listening to uh, a recording of it and... Uh, mic muted. No, 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 no. You just put up the volume. Yeah, see? Why did you be like, play mute. Your mic is quiet. Uh... Noise canceling headphones means I hear you just fine. Okay. If I'm too loud now, let me know. Uh, and if I'm still too quiet, then... I mean, something's gone really wrong if I'm still too quiet. Uh, do I have the correct version here of the... Uh, Bitbucket installed. Hold on. Uh, legit listen to most things on max volume. Hmm. Okay. Is it too loud? Don't, don't, don't play. No plays. No, no tricks, no trolls. If it's too loud, then I need to adjust it. But if it's fine, then it's fine. But there's no way for me to know at this exact moment in time. And I don't want to be blasting your ears out for, you know, today. That would not be great for anybody. Nobody, nobody wins in that case. Well, I guess unless you really like listening to loud stuff, then I, then I guess it works. All right, there we go. We got the correct Bitbucket version in there. Because I have the Corvuria Bitbucket, and then I have the Alkland Bitbucket. Uh, m &R, Fork. Yeah, sure. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, hey, Adhesive Ducks. Any thoughts upon the new Warcraft EU4? Probably not. Uh, I never really got into World of Warcraft, so there's no, like, desire for me to kind of jump into that. I have you at 40% on Twitch. I usually have you at 60. So it is too loud? Uh, try installing a Bitbucket, but Launcher won't find the mod. What am I doing wrong? I should probably make a video on how to do it. Um, you need to download the Bitbucket, extract the files, move the folder into the Documents Paradox. So you have to go to your Documents... And then you go to Paradox Interactive, EU4, Mod. You drag the folder in. You open that folder. You take the... Oh, God. What exactly does it say? I don't want to say it wrong. You take the Ambinar Public Fork mod file out of the... Or no, you don't take it out. You copy it. You paste it in the mod folder and then you need to rename the folder to Aminar Public Fork and then it worked. The Discord link on Twitch doesn't work. The Discord link, oh, like in the description? Maybe we can remember verbal instructions that are long to clip it. But you can clip it. You can go back and watch it whenever you like. What you mean? What you mean? Uh,
Did just that and find it. Okay, well, I might be able to help you more after stream. Um, uh, see so Discord. The Discord link on Twitch doesn't work. Are you talking about in the description? <laughs> Channel. Channel. Oh, I hear me. I don't like that. You need to change folder to whatever path is in dot mod file. Yeah, but it's that is what the dot mod file is. Oh, sorry, I just hit my mic. If I click on that, I don't know. It works for me. Yeah, it works for me. It, it it takes me to the the Discord thing. I don't know what to tell you on that one. Works now? <laughs> wow. Wow. That's okay. Uh, so... Hey, Astera. Let's do this. I do want to tell you that the the seed list for Aminar's multiplayer... Or Aminar's multiplayer. Lambert's multiplayer has been released. And we're going to be playing as Benjisbid. Benjisbid. With the elephant tag. One of the elephant tags. So this is where we're going to be playing. We'll go over this uh, in some more detail at a later point. We'll... Have a little bit of time to look at it, talk about what our, our plan is. Uh, just know, we're playing as the Elephant Boys. There is a Rajat Haga, there is a Rebecca Kerr, there's a Bim Lau, uh, there is a Dak. Lambert is playing Dak, so no worries everybody. Dak will live once again. Then we already played it. The Elephants? Long time ago. Long time ago. And plus this is a multiplayer, so it's, it's different. It's different. All right, this is, I believe, where we were at. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's different, aka it's speed two. <laughs> True. True. Hey, we can go back to the mountains if you guys want that. Speed two in the mountains. We, we, we can do it. Okay. So, uh, we've gotten our ass kicked multiple times, but Irlium is here now, so our ally is in fact here and helping out, which is very kind of them. Uh, let's start improving relations with them. So, we need to try and, I think, contest these sieges. They do have 178,000 troops, but they're going to run out of manpower here pretty much immediately. No, we want to try and contest this. Yeah. Oh, we need... That's Cav Shock. I don't care about Cav Shock. I need some generals. Oh, none of them are going to be good. I need someone who's going to roll out of their minds. Four to ten pips. I need six fire pips. How much would it cost you to stream Lakefed doing the one year Republic? Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. There's the one that does a one year Republic. Again, we'll do Lakefed when the new content for it is completed. Nah, it's okay. You're at least fast. Yeah, when the uh, Lakefed content is completed, then we'll play Lakefed again. Yeah, I'd rather them not take this. This should be a wipe. Nice. And we will assault this. And then what is combat with? It is currently 30. Well, let's detach our special units. And then have them move forward. They're not at full. I don't need that many cannons either. So let's grab those. Pretend like we're gonna send those back. There we go. <clears throat> and we have to do Yin Quan again too, when the rending is done. All right, and that province has been looted. I don't really care. Go ahead and reinforce. 
Okay, that is a good fight. And that is a good wipe. Beautiful. Okay, first one gone. Uh, we're going to start our Golden Age here. Should have done that before we fought them, but okay. We need to run back and make sure that Irlium doesn't get dunked on while sieging this down. That is the next goal. So let's move these two there. <clears throat> what we need is more colonial gameplay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. I mean, to be fair, with Star Hall coming out, like, it'll be more interesting, I guess. Technically speaking. Uh, also, Icy Beam, thank you for the follow. I forgot to say that earlier. And Petlor, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, good afternoon. I hope your afternoon is going absolutely fantabulous, which is a real word. It's a very real word. Trust me. I have a degree. I have two degrees, which means I clearly know what I'm talking about. It's true. Uh, we are about to max out on Diplo points, and I can't say that I'm too eager to just take tech early. Uh, missions. Missions, missions, missions. Let's see what they want. Uh, this one. Permanently increased static artifice capacity by five. Okay. Nims God owner, Portnum owner, and Gibbard owner. We need to have spy network on. Okay. Well, I could do that. Uh, this one we're waiting for. New mushrooms. We need to own the Serpent's Veil. That kind of got snatched away from us. Uh, two owned provinces in the Serpent's Veil. Need to have Bastions and seven manpower. And Orlazam Ozdir needs to be owned by me. Yes. Okay, so it doesn't... It doesn't really matter where exactly we develop these Diplo points. So I think we'll just keep going on the roads. Just wherever we can throw down a Diplo point. Will work. Awesome. Turn that edict off. Turn this edict on. Encourage development. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Encourage development here. Okay. We don't have to spend too much because we'll... Uh, be able to get it done sooner rather than later. Let's go ahead and partially state these up. Obviously, we're going to have a tough time full stating it because it's all occupied. But, hey, could lower the autonomy at the very least. Are you humanities chat? Or a stem cell? I want you to, to think about everything that you know about me. All right? I want you to think about everything that you know about me. Everything that you know that I do. Do you really think I am a stem major? Do you really think that I did STEM stuff? No, I... True, art degree. I'm well known for my art. Poli-sci major derogatory? Well, that is one of the majors I have, yes. Communications and poli-sci. Theater kid, how dare you? How dare you? I am not a theater kid. I may be many things. A theater kid is not one of them. You watch your tongue. Twitch major? No, clearly not. Cartography is the only STEM thing, I would guess. No. You're a pro sportsman with all the throwing you do. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, let's contest this siege. Soft rock. We are digging our capital. That's great. Election? Uh, yep. Go ahead and reelect. And this should hopefully be a wipe. Not a wipe, but we did destroy him. Okay. I mean, he's he's running out of troops at this point. He's down to 107. We've already killed like 100,000 of them. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Probably say major slur. Yes. Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. There's more There's more Poemu lore that you don't know and that you won't know for a long time. We're not there yet, chat. We're not we don't have that kind of relationship yet, okay? 
Uh, yeah, overstack that. Barrage. Irlium abandoned the siege of Omdir. Huge. Massive. Thank you, Irlium. You know what? I can't complain. They're here and they're helping, so. Whatever. I also have a columnist available. So let's send you out. We need to keep colonizing all this stuff too. So only send half there, another half there. Cause I'd like to get, oh, I can't go there immediately, actually. So we need to fill these in. Uh, we can reset the next relationship level. Quick someone buy 17 pairs of dice so we can gain the system. The desperate lazy. Uh, we even ask for enough cube praise. No, I don't think that's the problem. And I don't think the lack of cube praise is quite the problem. Well, you can't just tell everybody everything about yourself immediately, right? Everyone's got to have little secrets. Little, little secrets, you know? Uh, okay, send you there. I'm not sure exactly what happened here. Hmm. I mean, if they want to walk down to that hold... Like, I would take that fight. But I think we need to get through... This first. I'm clicking all the wrong buttons. I'm still readjusting to my new keyboard, so I keep clicking the wrong buttons. Toy say theology? No, I, I, I already said it. What? I already said what I did. I said... Communications and political science. Propaganda, pr pretty much. It's just propaganda is interesting. Uh, Amatech minus ten percent. That's fine. And none of these are that useful. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> national tax, huge, massive. Yeah! National tax. Let's go. Uh, do we get a free admin policy here? No, it would tell me if I did. Uh, hey, Amy. You either got degrees to be a propagandist? That, yep, that's what it is. I wanted to be a propagandist. When I was a kid, I was like, you know what I want to do? I want to do propaganda. Huge. Massive, even. How we doing? Are they... Uh, they're, they're holding steady right now. They're holding steady. Irlium is in danger. He claims to live in Washington State. I didn't claim to live in Washington State. The only thing that I have said is that I live on the West Coast. Fun fact, there are three states on the West Coast. <laughs> well, I mean, if you want to count Alaska, but like... No. Alaska is its own thing. Uh, Do I want to take this fight? It'll hurt. It'll suck, but I should. Well, you know what they say. Um, the only good Obsidian Legion is a dead Obsidian Legion. And even if we lose, um, I can I can recover. But I don't think we're going to lose. Rolled. Damn, that one hurt. 40,000 infantry lost. That's the rest of our manpower. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's go grab the holds. Do so you have 10k? No, we have 40k. <laughs> Warhammer 40k. Uh, Horror Cad gets construction costs and goods produced. And for freedom. They come to take our most sacred liberties. They come to take our very freedom. We will fight, and yes, we may die, but we will have the chance to tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they will never have our freedom! 10% morale of armies. Oh, 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 oh. 
What a weird place for them to retreat to. What a weird place for them to retreat to. Follow them in, boys. Follow them in. Orcish opposition in our capital. Okay, stop force marching. We've we've done our part to help out. It's fine. Oh, come on, Erlium, I believe in you. Go ahead and barrage that. Take tech. Huge shout out to Irlium for actually being a bro. Hopefully we don't have to fight them at any point. Hopefully. The coalition goes away because they are out of steam. They got nothing left in the tank. That's it for the Obsidian Legion. Hell yeah. All right, uh, Obsidian War. I mean, they're not going to accept it yet because we do have to 100% them, literally 100%. So let's go get these tunnels occupied. Uh, your ally stack like them? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. They were getting bounced around here, but I just started CG and then they finished them off. Uh, he lacks critical information. I lack critical information. I do. What, what am I missing? Uh, for me to attack a spider right to my obsidian spawn at tech 10 with five provinces. Hm. Lucky you. Lucky you. You get it now. There's no clue to it in my country. So constant is weird for me. Wait, what? You have to face when I asked about Washington state and city. Oh, yeah, because you keep calling it Washington State, and that's terrible, and you shouldn't do that. It's Washington, D.C. That's the capital, the nation's capital. Washington State doesn't exist. It's just Washington. I'm a West Coast kid. I don't believe in Washington State. That's cursed. Uh, box of Holding. For centuries, the Bag of Holding has been a piece of equipment no adventurer can do without. How else would they hold all their loot? But now that our artificers have figured out how to expand its principles into larger and sturdier boxes, it will quickly become just as much of a staple as merchants engaged in trade from alien tier to Hales. For what's better than a Bag of Holding? A Bag of Holding that you can stack. Eureka. Uh, box of Holding D's nuts. Got him. Got him. Okay, all that's occupied. You move in. And let's take these mother frickers out. Recall here. Send you there. And there it is. 100% Obsidian War. Invasion ended. The last days of the conflict against these so-called Obsidian Dwarves has been hard. The dwarves we fought had a passion as hard as calcite and were determined to avenge the betrayal at the hands of the ancient dwarves. Unfortunately for them, we have fought for our position in this region with might and power, honing our skills. Now that it's over, we lay claim to the title of Defenders of the Serpent Spine, and our soldiers fight with more discipline and might than ever before. We've achieved total victory. Plus two stab, gain 50 prestige, till 1710, 10% morale of armies, 10% infantry combat ability, plus one unity prestige, and plus one military free policies. And the religion and culture get switched over to us. Wait, huge. Actually huge. It switched over these two to uh, Rust Road Goblin. <laughs> Even though they weren't done yet. I think this one was done, but Omdir wasn't. <clears throat> Can't swear all clans are fa family-friendly gaming. Oh, is <laughs> oh, oh. family-friendly all clan, huh? All right, let's start building those spy networks up on the gnomes. Build spy network. Build spy network. And build spy network. Do I have a spy network construction guy? I do. So let's get you hired. Okay. Core all that up. And we need to let some time pass. Because we need to recover from our adventures. 
Okay, uh, grab these infantry and send them over here. And grab these cannons and send them over here. And let's get everybody drilling. There we go. All good. <clears throat> didn't lie to you. Should have trust me. I never got you wrong unless I did it intentionally. Yeah, okay, no. That was not intentional. Uh, how did Grombar... Weren't Grombar and Crackton Vor at war? Maybe I cut them off before they could actually take anything. That might be what it is. I will start some more research. And I will seize Crownland to get back up to 100. So we can get that 100% government reform progress. Preferably. And I have lots of money as well. So let's spend it. We need to build some universities. Preferably on all of the holds. I need to restate up a lot of stuff. Almost forgot about that. Yep, we gotta restate everything that was taken away. Luckily that's still stated. Get rid of that edict though. Okay, yep, that needs to get stated. That's good, that's good. Any other states I can make? Hidden Respite, Goblin's Bypass, and the Lonely Mountains. Core those up. Cool. <sighs> Have them in the Goat Hold. Yeah, but they made their capital, Almdir. Even though this is where they came from. I'm assuming it's just because Almdir was higher development. I also need to fix all of our holds, uh, which will be fun. Well, he's got to wait for the, uh, the universities to be built. It's hard coded to always be Omdir. Oh, if you own it, it's always Omdir. I mean, that makes sense. Does it make sense? I think it's not a big deal. Uh, figure out the Bitbucket. I think I've been messing with my directories too much because I have two sets of Paradox Interactives. Oh, yeah, that doesn't sound... Great. Won't lie. Uh, what to do with our Diplo points? I mean, I know that at some point we're going to need lots of development in the caves, so... I mean... Might as well just click the buttons in there for now. Okay, hold restoration of Omdir. Sure. Actually, yeah, I bet you we didn't expand infrastructure. That's okay. It'll take an extra year or two. We're not in a huge rush for anything, so we're good. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Deification, thank you for the free Republican tradition. I appreciate it. With 10,000 monies. Anything else that I need to fix? Like this? Nope, that one didn't get ruined. And that one didn't get ruined. But Omdir did get damaged. Why? Because it was their capital, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but that means I have money to spend. So, start clicking. We're going to need them everywhere. So, I might as well just start mass making them. There we go. Uh, Age of Witch Kings, okay. Salt is there. The Wars of Consolidation have started. And Ogres do, in fact, need to eat. But I don't really want to lose that much Diplo rep. But I guess we will. Uh, Omdir hold level is... Level 2. <laughs> not, not very good. Not very good. You know, kind of shallow. Uh, okay, that colony has been completed, and we can't actually do any other colonies at the moment. They're all blocked off, so that is fine. Uh, maybe Orlazam? Orlazam Azdir is level 6. 
Oh, and they have Thieves Guild here, too. <sighs> yeah, I give out generous quest rewards. Hopefully it'll make them go away. Hopefully it'll make them go away. We don't really want them. Oh, uh, Laurent has caught our spies. That is unfortunate. Well, it's just one of them, so it doesn't matter. As long as one of them gets completed. Absolutism, uh, negative 16. Erlium is calling us into a big war. And we, the goblins will answer. The goblins will answer, we owe you. We will be helpful little, little gobos. Helpful little gobos incoming. We don't have a lot of manpower though, but that's okay. Uh, oh, we're at war with Gorbarad. Oh, we are at war with Gorbarad. And guess who, uh, Guess which bozo didn't build a fort? Here. This one. Me. I am the bozo. Who knocks, I guess. So... We gotta kinda chill. Because if we walk away, then they're just gonna walk immediately up to my holds, and I don't really want that. He's gone soft. Well, I've changed my mind now. <laughs> I have gone soft. They helped me in my disaster, so we'll help them here. Wink, wink. We'll help them for sure. For sure, for sure. There we go. New government reform. Tier 9. New men, plus one random candidate bonus, and minus one length of election term. Consolidated power. Plus two yearly absolutism, plus 25 max absolutism, minus 10% re-election cost. Lose 60 absolutism on new ruler. Re-election increases absolutism, absolutism by 10. Devolution of powers, plus two possible advisors, and minus 0 0.05 monthly autonomy change. Or we go for bottom executive power. I think we should go for new men. <laughs> Where's play realpolitik you mu? I don't know. Sleeping, I guess. There we go. We need the dam? We, really? Why? Did you tell me that I'm going to have to pay money to make the dam? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Okay, well, in that case, get to sieging. The Iron Pyrite Layer. Pyrite is a brass yellow mineral with a bright metallic luster and is the most common sulfide mineral. It forms at high and low temperatures and occurs usually in small quantities in igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks worldwide. Pyrite is so common that many dwarven geologists would consider it to be an ubiquitous mineral. Such a material is now in our way. Yeah, dig through it. Diggy diggy hole. Guys, I've been thinking about getting back into Dwarf Fortress. But I know what that entails. Uh, it, it would take an iron will for me to play Dwarf Fortress and still stream. And, you know, I don't want to not stream. You know, but, like, I've been thinking about it. Maybe just do some, like, Dwarf Fortress late night streams. Like, we still do the Aminar stuff in regular stream time. But then we do more stream at night. So that way I can play Dwarf Fortress and still do streams. I know that not everybody is interested in a good old dwarf fortress. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I could take tech to get Inno for Diplo, but I could also wait a year and make it a little bit cheaper. Uh, debate in Parliament. Do I have a missionary one? I love the draft. I think it's so good that people get drafted. <laughs> uh,. Crown land, army tradition, bribe them, ignore corruption, military support, minting rights, take sides, mobilize, 
Military support, admin support, military support, minting rights, uh, ignore corruption. 145,000 manpower, and now we're back up to max. Uh, we need more gobos for the front line. True. True, true, true. Nice for the Artificer class. Okay, we're at 61% spy network on the gnomes. On the gnomes. I don't really want to push up any farther than this until we need to. Uh, our commandant has died. So I guess we'll hire you. Oh, you're so expensive, bro. 11.9 ducats. A disgrace. A disgrace to all goblin kind. Alright, I think we're gonna backtrack here. And go after Gorbarad. We are about to max out on Mill and Diplo. Well... There you go. Okay, where are their forts at? Okay, they have one here. Uh, the Sun Cult has been introduced. So the elves and humans of Bulwar have several different religions, but all those religions are kind of the same religion. They all worship light and the sun, whether they call it Surakel or Surayel. Then again, the sun is undeniably very powerful. She is one of our own gods as well, after all. The humans and elves don't understand us when we talk about Tawank Tawanka Sunka. However, some of our shamans have taken it upon themselves to set up a separate, more outward-facing cult for Ant Sun. To properly integrate these humans and elves and whoever into her worship, they have incorporated many of the themes and ideas from the existing Bulwari religions. For Surakel or Suriel or whatever you call them. All kind of missions? Yep, that's why we're playing them. They have been overhauled. So we're going to check out the new stuff. The new stuff. <clears throat> How much participation do I have? 18%. I mean, hey. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's not terrible, though. Uh, you know. It is what it is. Let's keep doing a little bit of development here. Election? Yeah, we just... We re-elect forever. Because if our Republican tradition starts getting low, we just use the parliament to gain 10. Huge. Massive, even. How's our inflation looking? It is 8. It's going down. <clears throat> I'm going to make it go down more. Don't really want it. Overhaul. That's very polite way to say replace with good ones. Well, you know, I, I don't want to be mean. Someone worked on the other one. Okay. Someone put... They, they worked hard on the other one. I'm not sure what drugs they were on when they did it, but they did. I missed the NO, didn't I? Seven days. I'm so smart. Huge. Massive, even. It was jank. It was jank, and it broke the game. But you know what? It had heart. Okay? It had gusto. And that's what matters. Heart and gusto. No! Our dude is dead. Rippy dippy. 421, 151, or 124. Disney's, Diz Nuts, got him. Uh, yeah, we can welcome in half orcs, that's fine. And as for our current cult, uh, what does the new Sun Cult give us? Minus 15% advisor cost. <laughs> Minus 15% promote culture cost. Yeah, I don't think we need that one. I don't think we need that one. <clears throat> Where did you get the extra stat? Uh, that's a great question. That's a great question. Let's see here. Not supremacy of the diet. New men gives us plus one, but I'm assuming you're talking about the automatic plus one that we got. And I don't... I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't know. We're just built different, I guess. We're just built different. Oh, also, we can complete the mission. Like-minded small folk. 
Uh, Gibbard, thank you. Uh, Over the last couple of years, the discovery of the outside world still keeps us fascinated and curious. This curiosity led to investigations of nations that live outside of the mountains. As a result of this, a similar species to goblins were discovered called gnomes. These gnomes share a similar interest in artificing, although it does seem to be much more incorporated in their nations than in ours. The council wonders if they would even notice if we stole and copied their ideas and inventions. Perhaps we should try that. Static artifice capacity increased by five. All right, making the blueprints. 200 mil power and mill advisor of at least five or NO of at least 75. And of course, we have both. Uh, we are the strongest. We are the smartest. Dwarves may have invented trains, but we will invent one for the army. One so big it dwarfs the dwarven creations. Nice. Uh, a train with the biggest cannon ever seen. Uh oh. <laughs> wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we do something else. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't put a giant ass cannon on the train. Okay. You know the the allegations. Not good. Not good. Uh, we will be remembered for eternity. Our army will be unstoppable, and the train will make enemies tremble in fear before our mighty weapon. Uh, our site is locked on this project, and thousands of engineers and other scientists have come together to make it a reality. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Not good, not good. Uh, bigger than ever before. Uh, a thousand year old. <laughs> yeah. Railway guns. Look, look. In a vacuum? Yeah, sure. Big can on train, cool. But we don't live in a vacuum. Uh, not all the technocratic councils focus on ruling over our nation in the holds. Some aim to improve research, and others help the army. Recently, our army requested that we give trains military use, since trains currently only have a commercial use. As a result, several councils that improve military technology collaborated with many scientists and engineers to make this happen. So a meeting was planned to discuss and make drafts. The first few meetings ended up in failure, and fights among the scientists and things were looking very bad. On a particular day, nothing seemed to be going better until the goblin cleaning the floors randomly said, Why don't we put a bigger gun on it and make it shoot the enemy instead of using it to go faster? The room went silent for an hour, and the cleaner left without ever knowing the revelation he just gave. Immediately, drafts and sketches were made, and from that point on, there was no fighting among the goblins partaking in the collaboration. Now, to actually build the thing. Netvirod 1 has 10% local dev cost and minus 20% friendly movement speed for 5 years as we build this, um, you know, thing. Populous kept calm. A, a populous kept calm? Wait, what, what did I just look at? You. How's my fire populous? Is it this? Maybe? I don't know. I would assume so. Yeah, okay. Okay. <clears throat> and there's our fort too, so that's more defended now. Pavas kept calm. Well, they are calm. Maybe not through the most ethical way. Ooh, spark drive locomotives. The tried and true pack animal has served us well since time immemorial. Until just recently, it seemed to be the perfection of its concept. Train an animal to carry a heavy load and carry them quickly. Breed it until it can do that better than any individual ever could. As it turns out, doing the same thing but with metal and magic can create even better results. The mechanists have devised a cart that requires no specially bred animal to pilot it, requiring only Dame Steer's fuel. It functions very similarly to the spark drive rifle, using the Dame Steer and elemental energy present as a source of power to move the cart. This creates a device that, even under extreme load, can transport goods and people from one place to another blindingly quickly, in some cases being able to make a trip over five times in the speed it would take a traditional animal-drawn cart to make it once. It can only be used on specialized platforms due to this extreme speed, else it would catapult itself into terrain and be destroyed. While still in its early stages, it should be no surprise that this device will revolutionize transportation as we know it, perhaps in 1836. Eureka. All right. And that gives us... Uh, also, we could lock in the E++ compound now. Where... I'm clearly here. 10% movement speed and plus one free policies. Mm. 
Now we could put in the E++. I don't know if there's really anything else I'd want. I mean, the goods produced from here would be nice, but we don't even have it unlocked yet. So we'll go for the special, for the special one. That gives us 10% fire damage, land fire damage for everything, which is pretty sweet. Is pretty good. If only we had the capacity. Yeah, well, the later we get into the game, the more capacity we'll get. Round 13 has been officially snagged. So we will continue to siege down more. Gawed's going to attack Bjarnrek. That's fine. I don't care. Not a Poem U problem. Lazy Colonist? E yes, you are correct. Thank you. Cutting edge advancements. Minus 10% tech cost and idea cost. Cool. Okay, and then recall from here. Once more into the breach. Send you here. Again, we need to take all these caves. And it's time to do some more mill dev. There we go. Okay, Gorbarad does have guys behind us. I'm gonna set your volcano off. I, I light your volcano. Shoddy mine. Uh, yeah, we'll pay for it. We've got the money. Modern mission. It can't pop us. Yeah, I just need to do the thing where I get plus one goods produced in all my caves, but I'm being like mega greedy. Super mega greedy. And I want to have as many caves as possible before I do that. Oh. Oh, I didn't get anything. Well. I think our homie ship with Erlium is going to be coming to an end sooner rather than later. My God, he broke all of his, some of his allies. Oh. Huh. Okay. Whatever. And you marked with interest. Oh yeah. Oh yeppers. I sure did. It's not a big deal. Uh, why? Oh, <laughs> right, I forgot. I converted him. <laughs> uh, funny, 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 funny. Converted the orcs to goblinistic shamanism. I would say that we're going to do that to the command in this run, but we most certainly are not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna eat away at the command so I can vassalize them to convert the religion. It's just not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, we'll have to save that for the inevitable uh, chain grasper run that we do. That's not like a multiplayer game. Probably be a while till we do that. But we're gonna draw. But yeah, command is way too big. There's a last empty cave in the center of our realm. Uh, yes, there is, but I have to wait for this to finish. Because it's not connected to the road. So I can't send my colonists yet. Do not fear. Now, I can send it. There we go. We can take Miltech here. 332 days, we can wait for next year. Going to core that up. Uh, what's our force limit here? 184. Okay, and I have some quartz separatists. Well, why? Why though? Hmm. Right. Right. So grab our. Regular units here. 
Split you up. Take that. This is a super scuffed way to go about it. I could have done this way better. Okay, you're gonna go deal with the rebels. You guys are going to drill. Okay. Uh, because I picked court idea. What what happened? Because I picked court ideas. What did I do this time? There we go. Back at one hundred percent crown land. There we go. Okay, you're here to deal with any of them. And you can put down all of these for them from rising up. The plus one to ruler stats. It's true. There you go. That's the answer. Plus one monarch diplo skill. Thank you. That's what it was. Okay, there are a couple missions that we need to prepare for here. So all own provinces in this region need to have seven base manpower. No, sorry, two. They already do. They all have development seven. I need two provinces to have seven base manpower and a bastion. So let's go and encourage Dev. Get you up to seven. What's it going to cost to take this? 552? Okay. Uh, well, then we should probably just build it in Horden River, right? Then... Expand infrastructure. Uh, wait. A Bastion? Yeah, a bastion. Well, when do I get level fourteen? Oh, I just need to develop it. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I was, I was thinking uh, ramparts for some reason. I don't know why. No, we we have bastions. That's a level four. It's a level four fort. I don't know why I was thinking that they need to have uh, a thing. Oh well, doesn't matter. I'm not losing. No, no. I'll just pay the money. <laughs> no, simply no. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I do want to get universities everywhere, though. That is important. Uh, who are my rivals again? The rent. Ugh. When can I get my plus six? from insulted rival. Do I embargo you? Yeah. I do. Go ahead, do I embargo you? I do not. Aha! Keep my power projection above 50. Victory. I missed the inno. Big brain. Go ahead and re-elect this guy. Let the trolls in. Give me a bunch of colonists there. <clears throat> Copper. Okay, okay. Traveler's Refuge. State that up. Add you in. I saw autonomy looking everywhere. Looking fine. Thank you to my vassal for giving me 25 ducats. Appreciate it. I'm not sure how useful that is, but I appreciate it nonetheless. It's the thought that counts. Okay, we could go to war with Grombar. We could also go to war with Cracked and Vroar. We could go to war with the Centaurs soon-ish. We have to get out to here first, though. How much war score are you? You're 101? 
Okay, then let's do that. Before they get any larger. Oh, I don't have a claim on them though, do I? Uh, uh, build a spy network. Go back. Stay on the holds for now. Stay on the holds and drill. When it's your time, you'll know. Grandma, you know, well, hey, great news. Great news. I could take all of it. Yeah. Man, I can't believe they, they nerfed my boy Logier's end. How dare they? How dare they nerf my mans? Makes where I have to build two forts over here now? Two forts? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Jad Centaurs? Yeah. Yeah. Jad Centaurs. Mad Artificers threaten stability. Um... They can take a hit to their loyalty and stuff. Not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. I'm surprised the Deep Woods isn't consolidated yet. Also, what happened here? Ooh, you got rolled by Krathenor of all people. You are a satrapy under Katarata. Yeah. Ket's doing well this game, actually. Their mandate's high. What happens if they pass all the green ones? Create dragon fire. Need a move of 80. They get artillery combat ability and heavy ship cannons. Huh. Interesting. Spider centaurs are a unified state. Yeah, I'm sure they'll fall apart sometime soon. It's only a matter of time. Ooh, five fire. Ooh, we're maxed out on admin points. Uh, let's see. There's going to be places that we can expand some administration, right? Surely. Yeah, look at that. That one you can't. That one you can't. That one you can't. This one can. A whole bunch of times, actually. Let's upgrade our trade buildings in these holds. Same thing in these ones. You don't even have a trade building yet. That's a mistake. We do have some expeditions that we could be doing. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's do some expeditions. Monuments to build? Yep, that is one of the expedition that we need to do. That is one of them. Almdir has been restored. Okay. Uh, and we do not need the marketplace in Almdir anymore. Nor do we need it in here. We have full control over this node, so it's not a big deal. I don't even need this at level two. Oh, these got taken down to level one. I do probably want to get Omdir back up to level three, though, just for the manpower. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, expedition menu. Scavenger's Hovel. Platinum and long. Okay. So go ahead and send 10,000 men. This loot cannot be correct, right? Right? Surely, surely if I spend a lot of, a lot of points here on Making sure that we're really good and strong and awesome, that it's wrong, surely. <clears throat> Loot is death crank. No, you're just saying that to bully me. To bully me. Okay, go to a hundred and... 
Yeah, go to 200. Boom. We're maxing out, boys. We're maxing out set party share. Luckily, I only have to promise uh, like 200 for party share. Surely they survive. Surely they survive. Remember your zero loot expedition that had 640 and then they died? Um, mm, yes. I do, in fact, remember that. Hard to forget. Hard to forget. All right, there's our claim on the dwarfs. Let's go for it. It's not that it's just 10k gobos. You have plenty more that came from. True. Why don't we just send more? Like, why don't we just flood the tunnels with our own gobos? Surely that would do something. A fungal right? Mushroom? Mushroom. Uh, some reports... Our strange reports have reached us of a bizarre ritual that has rapidly become commonplace among miners in rails right. Whenever the miners sight a fungrum, they completely abandon all operations to point at it and proclaim mushroom over and over for several minutes before returning to work energized. The overseers in the mines there demand we do something about it, claiming that the noise is driving them insane and even offer to pay us to make it stop. But our monthly production reports show a marked increase in productivity around the same time as this ritual. It would seem that the time lost in the strange behavior is more than made up for in the morale boost it gives the miners. Mushroom. Look, if it works, it works. All right. If it works, it works. Don't complain about it. You'll be fine. You could just join in on the mushroom, you know? Kobold migrants from Gorbarad. Welcome to Hold Your Cad. Uh, trolls are integrated. Kobolds are not. They're only coexisting. We may want to focus kobolds eventually. To try and... See if we can... Get them fully integrated. Also, I don't need this many troops on that siege. It's a little unnecessary. Little unnecessary. Let's go find their troops. Found them. Okay, and after we take Cracked and Roar, that should make it to where I can annex them in one war. Because it should have lowered their total development. Yay! No more dwarves. Well, no more independent dwarves, I should say. No more independent dwarves. <clears throat> uh, bring everybody back together here. And then... <clears throat> dang. Take all of our artificer units off. Good. And you all make your way back, and then we're going to leave a stack on the hold, because I will forget to build something there, and then they will die. Which monument did Crack have? Uh... Ooh! The one that we want. That's, that is the one we want. That gives us artifice capacity. Okay, Airnet Veer is dug again. Uh, yep. Encourage development. Takes six months to build that, so let's do it. We are good here. There we go. There's a hundred development. Yep, go ahead and keep this guy. So once this is done building, then we can... You know, we've. I think every time this run so far, I've just kind of instinctively clicked defensive preparations because I'm so used to dwarves. Well, let's just attack the orcs. Just send the goblins at them. Just send it. Spells and stones. Hundreds of the many crevices, our soldiers wait for the warband to pass by them. Arrows, stones, and spells hurl through the air onto the orcish menace, decimating their numbers. Screaming and bellowing, they try to strike back, but each attempt at breaking free from our vicious volley results in a direct hit against them. After a few minutes of this, the warband has been mostly slain, with a few survivors routed and fleeing back into the dark depths. Good. Hm. We do lose 5% supplies, which is not good. 
But we do gain a morale. Do gain a morale. We're out here taking attrition, huh? Don't need that many guys. Age ability? Max absolutism, huge! I don't actually know which one we want. I guess admin efficiency. Just to offset. All right, deep in the capital. Let's go. Uh, Goblin Summoner. Kill the mage, get the loot. As you do, Den of Jettas has been completed. Awesome. Go ahead and core that up. Missions. All own provinces that are fungi have base production of five. Or a workshop. Nope. It has fungi and development and a workshop or it's not a fungi. Well, that's not a very fun guy. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Uh, encourage development here. Yep, there you go. You're good. You're definitely good. You're good. Build a workshop. Uh, encourage development. No! I'm out of Diplo points. Uh, let's go ahead and focus Diplo. Uh, trade flows to Marhold. Yes, if you open up the Marhold Tunnel, then all the trade that you have from this node will flow into Eskin, which is why you never open the tunnel. Ever. Never. Uh-uh. Never. Not once. Unless you somehow already own all of Eskin. That's a big Corintar. Unless you already own all of Eskin, you never open the tunnel for any reason whatsoever. It's just a bad idea. Ooh, Black Damester bullets. For centuries, mages have been a near unstoppable force on the battlefield, able to kill thousands of soldiers with a single spell and deflecting most non-magical attacks with the simplest of shielding spells. Now, Black Damester promises to change everything. By infusing the bullets in the anti-magical mineral, they can pierce through the defenses of a mage and try... a mage may try and create. No more shall mages stand unstoppable in warfare. No more shall the common person be subject to the whims of magic. Down with the mages, down with the old order. Long live the people, and long live the might of Black Damesteer. That gives us 5% uh, discipline and plus one yearly revolutionary zeal. Wow, okay. Didn't that used to just be like some infantry fire? Or infantry combat ability or something? Uh, play, remove your trade. It's back in Airnet Veer. It's obsidian you out. <gasps> Shit, you're right. You're right. All that money, bro. We've been wasting so much cash. We've been wasting so much cash. Okay, we'll move it back. Is that been disciplined? Spark drive officer fire? Gotcha. <laughs> 1444? Yep. Gotta restart now. Wasn't a completely optimal run. Gotta go back. Gotta go back. Okay, Stalin. Alone Zorn. Uh, strange echoes, strange sounds echo throughout the cavern, sounds of breaking stone and minerals hitting against each other, like a mill crushing them into pieces. As the first scouts rounded the corner, they could see that their first guess was not far off from the truth as expected. There, sitting among a small deposit of minerals, sat a Zorn, a hideous scaled creature not of this world, shoveling rocks inside its wide maw with three arms surrounding it. The scouts return with their observations, so the expedition leader can decide how to approach this outsider seize its meal or make use of their nature to shift through stone as easily as fish swim through water. 
Uh, let's try and convince it. Eyes in the tunnels. Thanks to a seasoned adventurer capable of speaking the Zor Zorn's strange language, we persuade the creature to help us out by scouting the area in exchange for a portion of the minerals we find. That's really good. 25 morale, 10% organization, but we do increase party share by 200. So, less than stellar. Less than stellar, but acceptable losses. What is she going to play after this? I don't, I don't know. I probably would have clicked the other one, to be honest with you, but it's fine. Uh, time to click the mission. You got all the caves? What are these? Well, what are these? They look like caves. I know that you're impatient and you want me to click the button, but I'm not going to click the button. Uh, what idea group do we want? Probably a mill one. Quantity? Funny goblin quantity? <clears throat> the other one could end really badly for gobos. Naval? True, true. Maritime? Okay. EU4 chatters. Find a new bit. Always naval maritime. Always naval maritime. Always naval maritime. We can get wolf spider tamers. Giant wolf spiders are a rarity in the serpent spine, but recent innovations in spider breeding have brought them to the caverns. Unlike the cowardly tarantulas, wolf spiders will continue to charge even in the face of overwhelming casualties. Lake fed? No, probably not lake fed. Oh, yeah, you're allied to Corintar. Not a huge deal, but annoying. Can also get leather cannons. Sure. Uh, we can restore a hold. Yeah, we're going to not do that. We're going to first build a fort on this hold. Because I don't know how many times I have not built a fort on that hold and I've repaired it multiple times in a run. So better safe than sorry. Uh, we'll just do the smart thing. Blood and sweat. That's fine. We are not having a blast. Every time. Yeah, it does seem to be every time. But this time, we're building a fort and we're going to protect it. Okay? It will be protected. Get you to five. Get you to five. Oh, boy. We're going to we're gonna need a lot of fun guy. We're going to need a lot of fun guy. Well, we can go through and make sure that we have workshops built everywhere. That works. And we're going to get more fun guy, too. We're going to get more when we uh, click a mission. Need to land east of hole, too? East of hole? East of... Oh, down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should go to War Skewer Drake pretty soon. Who's also Jad. Gross. Hey, is Jad core this up yet? Nope. Jad still chilling, sitting here at this land. Allied to a dwarf. Yes, he is unfortunately allied to a dwarf. I want to do with these cracked and vor separatists first. Well, it's not like Virko Gulan's a real threat, so we'll we'll send these two stacks down here and we'll do this war. Uh, the spinal layer. Spinal is an oxide mineral, 7.5 to 8 on the Dwa's hardness scale, and is often found in octahedral crystals. It is typically found in three geologic situations, as crystals and limestones and dolomites that have been subjected to contact metamorphism, as irregularly shaped grains in basic igneous rocks, and as water-worn pebbles in alluvial deposits. It seems we have found a huge deposit of it in the way of our digging operations. Yeah. Diggy diggy hole. <laughs> Can we make more space gabrines? Probably. Yeah. There you go. 
Uh, heated debates. Just lose the money. Uh, give me that five fire general. You can get that one. Our generals are trash, unfortunately. <sighs> Real serpent spine hours. When you're not constantly expanding in them. Okay, you make your way down here. If we grab their capital, they should be willing to peace out. Uh, embarrassing Brillite Invention. That's fine. The mechanist can get a little bit of influence. That's not a huge deal. Oh, hey. There were some dudes right there. For freedom! <laughs> why are we... Why, why is every war that we have for freedom... We're the attackers in this war. <laughs> Do we not know that? Do we not know that we're the aggressors in this war? There's no for freedom here. Okay, this is for uh, greed. Like, we are the baddies in this case. We're the ones taking freedom away. I like the... I like the gusto. I like the commitment. But, like, you know... Not quite the truth. Uh, we can get some manpower recovery speed. Sure. We can start a new debate in Parliament. For... I don't know. There's no Republican tradition one. We already have Max Stab. Uh... We don't have a religious one either. I guess dev cost. CCR? Does one of these give CCR and I just don't see it? I'm pretty sure we want dev cost because we need to dev a lot of the, uh... A lot of the caves. Take sides... Yeah, we can bribe. I really don't like bribing. It's so expensive. Is there another bribe? Yeah, there we go. Alright. You can now move down. All of you can group up together. Beautiful. Uh... Yeah, dev is always good. It is always good. Speaking of development, I need to insult you. Thank you. Now I can say over 50 power projection. My vassal is sieging, so we'll just let him do his thing. Awesome. And I just want this for now. I don't care about anything else. Thank you very much. In and out. 20 minute adventure. No problems. Just keeping it simple. Not here to overcomplicate things. Not here to demand a whole bunch of stuff from you. Just want what's in my region. Yeah, they are allied to Verkogulan, who is a very small state. Very small, very small. Uh, we're gonna recall from you, and we're gonna finish this as fast as we can. Okay, you need to move in. And you can also move to Omdir. We can start to drill. And the expedition returns, alive. Uh, well, 1,811 of them return. With 860 crowns and 286 of each monarch point. Which I think is going to cap out our admin. It still capped out my admin. Okay. Why is there a C in front of Virkal Vaskron? Did I do that? I must have somehow d renamed it. Huh. I did that last stream? I did that. Oops. 
<laughs> My bad. My bad. Funny. Funny. Uh, let's go for... Hold restoration of Cracked and Roar. We can probably expand infrastructure here. No. We cannot. Okay. Well, in that case, just fix it. Thank you. Uh, and then we can dig Omdir. Thank you. And where is the next expedition? The Azra Depths seem to be our next target. Let's go ahead and build our troops there. The autonomy change. Okay. Everything is fully stated up. Uh, Grombar, you are our next target. So, let's do that war. Uh, you, come here. You, go here. You, follow them. And then we'll deal with Kor and Tar when the time comes. They're going to seize down our vassal, which sucks, but it is what it is. When is your truce up with Saria and 31? Okay, you're standing here for the rebels. Gotcha. Great project. Yeah, we need to do the crack monument and we need to do the spider one too. But I, I want to get these other ones done as well. Uh, the Azra Depths. It's silver and long, so it shouldn't be too difficult to do. Send 10,000, set party share to, we'll go 200. It's a little low, but it's okay. Our morale is at seven right now. So we're not gonna need to increase that. We'll map the terrain twice. We will prepare supplies. And good luck. Drinder Cave has been completed, so we can start to send them here. And now we just have these three provinces that need to be colonized. I lost my claim on Grombar as I was moving to declare war on them. Huge. Massive. Can I get you to break your alliance? No. The spider will probably kill a few expeditions. No, surely we win those. Surely we win those. Okay, then once this is done being cored up, we'll need to build a fort there. Uh, could get Inno for taking admin tech. <laughs> I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, okay, I need to make sure you're all at... Five Diplo Dev, and we're going to use the admin in conjunction with our Diplo here. There we go. Beautiful. You're up to five. Courage development. We need some more Diplo points now. Uh, yeah, we have to own every province in the Western Serpent Spine. I think we're actually kind of close to being able to click the button. I'm pretty sure it's literally just owning this from Grombar. And then we're good. But I want to own all the caves and stuff. That way I can get all the goods produced and all that good stuff. How many provinces does your mushroom mission apply to? Well, it's going to be more, right? Because this will... Every province that fulfills this requirement will have their trade good changed to fungi and will get the modifier state-backed food security granting plus one local goods produced. So the more caves we have that don't have metal in them, the, the better, because it all gets changed to fungi and it gets goods produced. And then we get new mushrooms, which I assume makes them even better. 
The Serpent's Veil region gets plus one local goods produced. Interesting. Yeah. All own provinces devastation less than one. And Natvirod, I need to put 20 regiments in there. So, because we're almost done with the Rail Skull Commission tree. All right, a railway gun. Sorry, a railway gun? It is complete. Our most prized invention, an invention a thousand times greater than the first train, which is still wrecked in the walls of Airnet Veer. There was only one thing left to do, <clears throat> and that fired it. But oh boy, can it go wrong. We might miscalculate, or in the worst case, destroy it. This does not stop us, however, because we have trust in our researchers. I sure don't. Uh, the largest ever made. Our researchers started to make calculations and measurements to make the railway gun go a success after the meetings were done. It was decided that a large artillery cannon would go on top of a heavily armored train so it does not get destroyed. It would be loaded from inside the train and no personnel could go outside of it, resulting in a train with large destructive capabilities and no possible danger for the operators. After some more calculations, the scientists actually managed to design something that could move the train and the only thing left to do was build it. After years of hard work, the prototypes breaking down past a working railway gun had been produced. There was a large celebratory feast held in honor of the success, and at the end they fired it to showcase its power. Sadly, the operators did not think of the fact that we live in caves, so the gun hit the roof, and large amounts of rock came crashing down, destroying both the gun and killing hundreds of goblins. After this disaster, we scrapped the project, knowing that it will never be useful, and moved on. But the remnants of the railway gun have been turned into a monument to remember a great invention. We will never escape the curse of death when dealing with trains, it seems. Definitely not as planned. We get 50 devastation, plus one monthly splendor, minus 50% friendly movement speed, minus 15% military tech cost, though. Huge. Massive. That's worth a couple goblins dying. <clears throat> I think so, at least. Get that regiment cost and new government reform. All right, tier eight. Plus one admin possible policies. Plus one diplo possible policies. Plus one mill possible policies. Enlightenment or military principle. Yeah, we don't want that. We're not winning wars often enough <clears throat> to make that worth it. Well... I guess mill possible policies? We already have possible of four. Haha, <laughs> 420, nice. Defense principle, sure. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We can have five diplo and mill policies. That's kind of nuts. I won't lie. How did this get past balance? Well, you see, uh, you had to do a lot of research to get there. So when you think about it, when you really think about it, it is balanced. How's our governing capacity? It's fine. More universities then. I can be building manufactories, by the way, to make more money. But we are smart goblins. We are smart gobos. Gold Rush. We are rich gobos. <laughs> like, look at all these manufacturers that I could have been building. <laughs> uh, okay, make our claim. Let's go to war. But uh, you can spread out because they shouldn't have any troops in this region. Don't know how they would have gotten them here. You guys move forward. <clears throat> You're going to need some help. Make sure you get a general. It's not a good one, but it is a general. And they do, in fact, have troops over here. You know, I... Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, sure. Sure. Because why would they not? Why, why, why would they not have troops over here, you know? Uh, that's me being a fool for thinking that somehow, some way, they wouldn't have troops there. Oh, building troops in land is very rare. Yeah, but you'd figure they'd build them where they'd need them. I guess I'm I'm thinking too much like a human in that case. Though to be fair, if I had lost like Grombar did, I would no longer be playing the run because the run's dead. 
runs dead. Redo. Restart. No more. Uh, look for anything of value. What a waste of time. Uh, the Melagio, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate it. Very kind of you. Hope you're doing well today. <clears throat> yeah, our vassal's being absolutely thrashed by Korintar. Uh, but we're just hoping that we can full occupy Grombar, turn around. Really? Damn. Really? How do you have that much development? Well, frick. Scammed again. Looks like we're not forming all clan for a long time. No, we just, uh... We just tell our vassal to claim on Korintar. I can't wait to go and scorch every province in Korintar. I don't know why they're making me so angry right now, but I'm looking at them and they're making me feel anger, so I'm gonna scorch everything. Uh, elemental gunpowder. Despite being the target of guns and Aeons past by the Flint Dwarves, we were in love at first sight with these glorious weapons, but that was years ago. And now we crave some novelty. It is not enough for bullets to leave gaping holes in our foes. Why do they not also light them on fire or freeze them solid or shock them? With this new elemental gunpowder, we shall renew our long-standing love and see it reach new heights. Though storage has become remarkably more dangerous, the results speak for themselves. Nothing makes a soldier more likely to retreat than seeing their compatriots go up in smoke from seemingly nowhere. Okay, that's definitely a war crime. Uh, where elemental gunpowder plus one land leader fire and our artificer regiments get 20% land fire damage. <clears throat> Break, take half provinces with Quarantine and Truce Break? No. What? No. Why would I Truce Break? I'm not, like, actually in that much of a rush. This isn't a speed run. I'm not going to Truce Break Grombar for one province. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. That's a waste of admin points and get a bunch of war exhaustion and no thanks. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, make your way down. There's no Geneva to stop us. I mean, that's true. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. New settlement? Yeah. West Nest. Good. I'm really hoping that we get... Well, actually... It doesn't matter if we get silk in here. The silk is going to be replaced. With mushroom. With mushroom. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Streamer. I redeemed channel points. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. There's your hydrator ditrate. I hope that you that was money well spent for you. Real money, real money and value that you just spent there. Uh, you move there. Point blind on. I'm in the middle of a war. What do you want? Uh, and later soak again when the monument moves there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Funny. Uh, where Where's my backup? Where's my backup? Yeah, I really should not have made my... Uh, my vassal into a... Whatever they are. Autonomous vassal. And I may just remove that, to be fair. Because it's it doesn't really benefit them. They're not going to expand at all. And it doesn't benefit me because they get called into these wars and they can't actually defend themselves. Why'd you do that? Well, I was hoping that they would expand. Um, they didn't. They, they didn't. They've just been kind of sitting there. Doing nothing. Oh... You know, sometimes the AI, I wonder what they're thinking. What's going on in those noggins, you know? Like, yeah, you attack them. Congrats. W w what was the plan after that, though? What was the plan afterwards? Uh, Korintar, I want to break your alliance with Corvaria. That's it. That's 
all I want. Okay, Grombar's troops are dead again. We can take this. We... Yeah. Uh, point when chat says point for cubes. Also point when chat uses points for other things. That's right. Never be satisfied. Bug bears? Uh, yeah, they took clouded eyes, Marvel. Yeah, no, we just... We're not going to want them in any more wars. If anything, maybe... Maybe I annex them, but like... I don't know if I really want to annex them. I don't know if I really want their land. Is the thing. Take this fight. And then packing. Korintar, will you give me what I want yet? No. Not yet. I hate that event, by the way. The intrigues in whatever event. God, that's annoying. Uh, I don't want any of these. I want a production efficiency guy. Okay. Specifically, I want a production efficiency guy that I can upgrade to level 5. Should have been more specific. That's my bad. Deification. Four quick has fallen. Yeah, you Eskin nations are literally nothing to me. You are but bugs. You are bugs. You're just annoying little critters that I have to go out and smack down every once in a while. Actually, I'll take this missionary strength guy. <sighs> Nothing I can do about it. Development of Cracked and Roar has slowed down. We're not developing it, though. We're, we're fixing it, but yeah, sure. I'll spend the 50 admin points. Is what it is. Truce break. I'm not going to truce break. Why would I truce break them? What's the point? Aha! We can hide from the rolling rock. Uh, growth of the economy, minus 10% tech cost. Our mill tech's gonna be, like, free right now. Minus 15% from the railway gun ruins, minus 10% from goblin admin, minus 10% from land investments, minus 10% from technocracy, minus 5% from the councils of technocrats, minus 5% from artificers, minus 5% power of the technocrats, minus 10% for the expansion of knowledge, minus 10% for the golden era, and minus 8.3% for innovativeness. It would cost 388 Monarch points right now, and it's six years ahead of time, which is an additional 60% cost. I would Truce Break? Well, good news. Uh, you're not playing right now. I'm playing, so we're not going to Truce Break. Fun fact. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Atom Points. We're already maxed out our Prestige. We don't need to, to do that. All right, let me grab our special units. They can go drill. And we can send some cannons there. And you can be our anti-Grombar uh, rebels. Okay, do you still have devastation in here? No, you don't. Are we completely covered for devastation? We are not. We need to do that. We... Really need to do that. So let's build a fort here. Oh, they're all full, though, is the problem. I done did built too many things. I done did build too many things. Suffering from success. Uh, build a fort there. Build a fort there. This one province isn't going to be covered, but that's okay. We'll survive. Yeah, I, I did. I done did build too many things and don't have the slots open. Uh, yeah. 
Build one there. We need one here. To single province, do you have admin points to spare? No. What? No, like, we're not in a... We still have this cave we need to colonize. And we need to take these two provinces from the centaurs. And I can literally just declare on Korintar in, like, five years. You guys are dumb. I am big brain, okay? You just attack the ally, and you take the one province in the peace deal. It's not that difficult. Uh, the, the chat, don't rush games. Uh, difficulty level impossible. Literally, just wait. Just wait. Like half a second. That's it. One half of a second. I promise. It'll be okay. We'll be fine. It's it's possible. <laughs> Madge, no. <laughs> you should know CB Island. True. Those damn Irish sitting there on their island. That's definitely here. <laughs> this is the new Ireland. <laughs> the little island over here that Bjorn owns at the start. Uh, I could take Miltech for Inno, or I could take Idea. Well, considering that's basically free, uh, yes. Would be foolish not to take it when it's like 340 points. Wex PU win, I'm a Republic. And we don't want to marry no stinky Wex. We don't want to marry no stinky Wex. Uh, build me a 3010 stack, please. In our capital. Yep. Yeah. Oh. What? Ah. Uh, okay. Sure. I guess they got released through rebels or something. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but uh, we can't upgrade our infantry. Two. Let's go for. Technically, lava blobbers is or lava lobbers is probably the better choice at this point. Uh, while trenches are useful, they are also time-consuming and ultimately inefficient. Instead, let's harvest molten rock from the depths of the serpent's mine and throw it at the enemy. Special capsules that spread a thin layer of lava over a small area can serve the same area denial purpose that trenches serve without the annoying digging or effort. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Is that a is that a war crime? Can you? Like, are we allowed to do that? Like, can we... Can we do that? I mean, there's no one to stop us, but... Like, hypothetically, can we do that? There are a lot of people it's not a war crime. Yeah, I mean, I guess... I guess maybe it's not a war crime, but it certainly feels... Wrong. <laughs> it certainly doesn't feel correct. Um... I'm sure it'll be fine. If people complain, well, we just throw more lava at them, and then they won't complain anymore. Okay, let's get all our forts upgraded to level 6. We can delete that fort. Build that one. Build that one. Uh, yep, any fort gets upgraded to level 6. It's fine. We can afford it. And then build more manufactories. You're not playing homebrew, so there's no war crimes. Is that how that works? <laughs> Me being brought into Geneva for my crimes against humanity? Uh, yes, hello. Actually, uh, we're not playing with homebrew, so... Oh, I think I'm innocent. Yeah, sorry. Like, you, you've got nothing on me. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's just the way it is, you know? Chat told me I was good, so, you know. It sucks to be you. Uh, state that up. State that up. State that up. Core it all. We are about to have more rebels. <clears throat> uh, IRL homebrew exists. It's called Switzerland. Mm, that can be fixed. It's a small country. We got lots of drones. You know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. First Canada, then Switzerland. All right. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> uh, we do need to develop the cows too because fun fact uh if it's not
Yeah, if it's if it's anything that isn't metals, gems, does salt get changed? Salt does get changed. So all these places need to be five development. Wool, does wool get changed? Yes, wool gets changed. Because these are all going to turn into uh, mushrooms. <clears throat> so we have to be ready for that. There we go. You aren't caves. You're all... That's a lot of metal. It's kind of impressive. Okay, you get developed. You're not a cave. You need to get changed. Dwarf Hope needs to be developed. <clears throat> Man, my throat is all a little bit caught up today. Your Honor, I swear, I said Geneva suggestions. How could I have known these things are most high heinous acts against sapient lives? I only did it to have fun. Look, I can do it in Stellaris, so it must be okay here. <laughs> so it must be. Paradox would never lie to me about things that are illegal. They would never do that. They would never do that. Uh, Omdir, empty strike the- Whoa, bad language. How dare you? So rude. Such strong language. In my Twitch stream? Never. I would never say a bad word. Who wouldn't want to <clears throat> be a determined exterminator? Me? I wouldn't want to be a determined exterminator. I'm just, I guess I'm just lame like that. You know, I prefer my sentient life, you know, alive. Not, not he hooed, personally. them in okay and we are good to fight these guys now sure you can all have access but how about casual experiment? oh well now you've <coughs> you've got my attention I'm like a livestock plant type player huh no I'm more like a xenophile democratic uh, always accept refugees, um, turn Xeno compatibility on kind of guy. <clears throat> that's boring? What do you mean that's boring? What do you mean that's boring? What do you mean? How is that boring? Base streamer. I'm just saying, all right? Th those aliens aren't gonna... <clears throat> You know, produced by themselves. You know what I'm saying? Someone's got to do it, and I'm willing to take on that that mantle. I'm I'm being the hero here. Okay. Don't call sentient life for any race or evil reason. You do it for the f for the frams. <clears throat> uh, coming crazy, but I don't enjoy the term exterminator devouring all that much. I've had very full fun inward perfectionist runs. Oh, so you're just determined exterminator, but like. You hold back. Got it. Got it. Game runs right. No, that's true. That's true. Xeno compatibility does slow down the late game a lot. Uh, <clears throat> there are two Solaris players. The gamers and the Xeno lovers. Uh, chase them rockets. Being able to shoot at your foe is well and good. But what if the point is nothing hits them? If they were moving fast enough, they could even dodge around every bomb launched at them. That obviously won't do, and a rocket that could chase down and kill whatever it was shot at was always a clear goal, even if the execution was less simple put into practice. No matter that for now, for the mechanists have finally figured out how to make a rocket guaranteed to kill whatever it is aimed at. Through careful engineering, they have devised an explosive guided by a combat artificer able to make wide turns maintain its deadly power long after the regular bomb would have hit the ground and blown up. Just think of it. Some fool dances around a bright red missile just as he thinks himself superior to goblin kind. It curves right back around, and the last thing he sees is a fearsome bright red chasing him down. Okay. Uh, so that... Chase some rockets. 20% artillery damage from the back row. Oh, casual. Casual 20% artillery damage from the back row. <clears throat> dance around the missile. Yeah, dance around this missile. 
Alright, so you guys need to make your way up towards the centaurs. And are they no longer monstrous? Nope. We gotta make a claim. We got to make a claim. It's fine. Uh, yep. Yeah, we can still take these. We can get our increased force limit. Uh, Clouded Eye. I don't know why you don't like me so much. But... Do you gain 65 Liberty Desire? I don't want to spend my prestige on that. Also, have you gotten a claim yet? They haven't even gotten a claim yet. So my grand plan against Korintar might not even work. Because they won't just get a claim. Just claim it. I've said it as vital interest. So, they should. <laughs> Man, how that would be fighting the spine between all clan and Avdel Kanzad. I'm pretty sure it would just bring the mountains down. Like, I think everyone would just die. It would destabilize the mountain t way too much. Uh, Forgotten Forest. Okay. Odd. I forgot about that forest. <laughs> Got him. Uh... Let's build that, that, that. Okay, we don't want to build on the wool. Because it's probably going to go away. But everything else can be built on. If you want a regular bachelor, they don't give a shit for making claims of land you want. Really? Stupid ass autonomous vassals. That's what I get for trying something new. I shouldn't try anything new. Stick to tradition. Make my claims. You son of a bitch. Stop claiming the orcs. Claim Quarantar. Okay. I can even call an Eerlium. I should. The elves are marching to war again. On behalf of the Gabos. Truly. Not the uh, alliance people would have expected, but the alliance they're going to get. Stop taking land and asking. I'm not. Ta Bro, I'm going to lose my mind. Okay, okay. Let me explain basic EU4 concept to you guys. Okay, here you go. When people are allied to each other, you can use that to reset truces or take more land, okay? So, Grombar is allied to Korintar, right? Right? So, we go to war against Grombar. I can't take everything I need. So, I break Korintar's alliance with Corvuria, and I give a short truce with them. So, that way, in 35, I can go to war. I declare war on Korintar. Yes, 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 yes. Declare war on Korintar. I don't take anything from Korintar. I take it from Grombar. I take this one province, and then I just peace out Korintar for money. Yes. Do I need to do? The, do we need to go over it again, class? Do, do I need to go over the content again? Don't worry. I'm not planning on taking anything in Eskin. If I wanted to take things in Eskin, I would have done it a long ass time ago. I could roll over every single nation in Eskin, no problem. One more time? Okay. <clears throat> Skill issue. That about sums it up. They demand no CB and fungi. No CB, fungi, and maritime ideas. <laughs> Looking for my pen so I could take notes. Well, you know what? You should have had your pen ready to go. No, not skill issue. Yes, I... Hmm. I hereby diagnose you with skill issue. Sorry. It is what it is. 
Okay, from this, I literally just want this. It's five war score. <laughs> it's five war score. Five. You still have level two forts. Not only that, you have level two centaur forts. Capitals over there. It's kind of a fascinating thing about my seed in Lambert's MP. What are you playing, Brian? I didn't. I haven't taken a close look at the uh, at the seeds. Manpower, admin, or corruption, minting rights, exempt conscription, exempt conscription, uh, admin, uh, bribe, exempt conscription, mobilize, exempt conscription, military support, no corruption, mobilize. Cool. You're a native adventurer. Native adventure? Like you're playing an Eskin? I know one of my favorite YouTubers had a whole video about pens and notes. Okay, all right. All right, well, was I wrong? Was I wrong? No, I was not wrong. I'm never wrong. I'm always correct. Don't, don't fact check that. Don't fact check that one. Not because I'd be like wrong, but because you know it should be a lot of work on your end, and you should be taking notes on other things. Basically, spend the first forty years so migrant across the huge jungles in South Africa. Oh, oh, are you playing them? Good luck. Good luck. I'm sure a Meon will let you live. Poor Brian. Brian, no, not again. Not again, Brian. Please. <laughs> Please. Okay, and they immediately ran away. It's fair. Uh, three Republican tradition. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Yeah. Yep. Meanwhile, I have Rajnahaga on my border. I got freaking Prussia Tigers on my border. I've got Bim Lao that don't want to take land. I've got Dak. <laughs> Dak in the mountains. Uh, MR Dev Class game, they did very well. Yeah, I don't know anything about them. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're good or not. Okay, I just want this. Give me some cash and go away. There we go. All your caves belong to us. I'm gonna wait for... For, uh... This colony to be done, just in case that somehow messes it up. Gelatinous cube. Attempt to retrieve the loot. Yay. Ew, he's Jad. We'll let him in, though. Click the button. Will it work? Even though this is a, a cave? Or a colony? Yeah, okay. Uh, wait a second. The last time you told me to do something, it was lies. It was lies. Uh, hey Chris. Uh, how are you today? Have you he hooed some pesky dwarves? No, no, no he hoos. Only friends. Oh, Corintar. I have a surprise for you. I've got a little surprise for you. Okay, let's move over here now. Used to hear do with rebels. You guys move south. So you can stay up here and get that siege down. Is it a surprise? I, it is a surprise pizza party, actually. It is. You need to have a specific dev? No, that's a different one. This one is just have the cave. This one's just have cave. Hmm. <laughs> The lie where Omdio got converted and did... Uh, no, 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 no. It got converted a different way. Okay? A very different way. You can't try and... You have 72,000 troops now. 
Fine, I'll go speed four. Okay, you move out. <laughs> Eskin Nations, uh, build forts. Difficulty level, impossible. Damn, they do have much better generals than I do, though. Much better generals. Mercantilism, huge. Massive. But they seem to have left this stack alone. You know, you shouldn't leave your stacks alone. Especially without the general. Our expedition returns. 291 of them return, to be specific. But they did make it back. 270 of each monarch point, 812 ducats. Okay. Uh, well, we keep developing caves then. That's not a cave. You're good. Good. There we go. Should have turned on the encourage development, my bad. we go, you're at five. All of this is at five. Nope, it is not. Five, 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 five. Oh, we're gonna need workshops in all these caves as well. I didn't even think about that. Didn't even think about that, how all of the things that we're adding on to are going to also need workshops. Oh, I'm out of diplo points. Yeah, that would. And the Cavern of Interest. Everyone who explores the Dwarven Bar has their own reason for doing so. Some seek relics of the past, while others seek future glory. Some seek vengeance, imagined or otherwise, while others seem to cast about for their own absolution. But the most common, and indeed perhaps the true aim, of many who profess another is wealth. And face to face with the enormous cache of gold we discover in this cavern, one can see why it appeals. Greed is good. Uh, encourage development. Oh, these guys went Dwarven Pantheon. Huh, fancy. And we take the last quantity idea, which gives us 33% more land force limit. We can also get minus 15% artillery cost. Sure. And I can put in 15% manpower recovery speed as well. Sure. And our force limit is now 303,000, uh, which means I can build a frick ton more artificers. <sighs> is that the goods produced monument on that coal? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. That is, in fact, the goods produced monument on top of the coal. That'll be nice. It'll be very nice. It's worth a lot of money. You got on gold on one of your games? Ooh. That would be sweet early game. That would be sweet. Land shark is equal amongst men. Minotaur raid on our arsenal. Gain zero manpower. Huge. <laughs> Massive. We've gained zero manpower. Truly. Goblins know what they're doing when they're negotiating. Uh, we can get rid of the faction influence. Alright. Move up here. Election. That's fine. Yep, here comes Korintar's troops to smack down my subject. As they do. And there's the colony completed. Which means I am now for sure 100% 
able to click support startup farmers. Yes. Is a cavern and not producing the metal. Perfect. A theme in our history seems to be the very fluctuating numbers of food we possess. Once in a few years, the amount goes from fully stocked to half the population almost starving. Following this trend is, of course, an increase in population and territory. If we conquer new caves and settle them, a spike in children born can be seen, and with that, a decline of available food. To eradicate this issue once and for all, the government provided insane amounts of subsidies to farmers in order to increase the amount of farmers. So right now, our income is at... 570 and if I click this button it's 594 it's another 20 dollars a month let's go well, that's a lot of dudes that's a lot of dudes uh are I really gonna have to like try in this war I don't want to man I, d I don't wanna have to try in this war like come on Check in after a month tick because trade. Uh, 608. What were we at? Weren't we at like 540? 570? Okay. That's pretty good. So like 40 ducats a month. Uh, hold on. I'm getting a phone call. I'll be right back. Just don't, don't go anywhere. Okay. Post no, no, no. I, I, I said I didn't answer a phone call, bro. What do you... I'm not, like, going to the other side of the planet. I, I would know if you were a Demon Cube or not. I would feel it. I'd feel it in my bones. Feel it in my bones. Uh, We could jump here. We're not going to. All right. We can complete a bunch of missions now. What? Has a bastion. Is seven base manpower. In the Serpent's Vale region. There's not the eastern or southern entrance. What? Because they're not bastions anymore. <laughs> they're star forts now. <laughs> Damn. We just got dunked on right there. Damn. Damn. All right. <laughs> Downgrade the forts. <laughs> Can't believe that. Can't believe that. Uh. Okay, bring all of you together. Best thing, this is after the fix. <laughs> it is. It is, in fact, after the fix. Okay. All of you guys group up. We don't have a lot of decent troops here. Uh, yep. You have Zazak in charge. Vein of precious metals found. The diggers at our hold come to us with good news. They've discovered a small vein of precious... Metals while digging. Um, sure. Are they actually going to reinforce us? The answer is yes. And we are going to lose. That's goblin quality for you right there, I suppose. Goblin quality. But hey. We got another 350,000 of them ready to go. We found more precious metals. Okay. All right, bring all of you together. We'll bring it. Well, actually, 
field all of our troops here. Whatever. Uh, build me another one of these. Sure. Don't switch your inventions. No more eco, only war. No, it's not that big of a deal. Plus, I want to get the eco hegemon as fast as we can. So, having this will be helpful. Rah! All right, goblins, go forth and prosper. Okay, if we can get Grombar out of the war so I can actually, you know, be able to do my stuff, that'd be great. Yep, 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 yep. Man, it just sucks that we don't have uh, as good as generals as they do. We do have 44 army tradition now. Anybody want a general? Maybe it'll be your lucky day and you'll, like, be good somehow. M maybe. 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 It's possible. I don't think you're going to get a 6-5, but... I still have gener oh, do I still have generals to give from earlier? Uh, hey, where's my... Where's my thing? Where's my... My list? Oh. Okay, yeah, I do. I do have... I do have some for like two hours ago. Okay, well, you know what? We have, we have some mill points. Okay, here we go. Uh, so, Enleave got one. We have two Zazox. Okay, so that means weapon space. You're up. Boom. Okay, I mean, it's not terrible. Ball in. Your turn. Boom. Hey, who will break the four fire barrier? Who will break the four fire barrier? Not Astera. You went down by one. That's the opposite direction. That is the opposite direction of where I wanted to go. Uh, Thief Steve. Boom. Okay. We're going down in the fire pips. Everybody, we need to go up in the fire pips, please. Up in the fire pips. Six fire. Boom. Okay, well, at least we've stabilized out, which means now, now we start going up, right? Right? Nope. Hey, where's general staff ideas when you need them, you know? Where is general staff ideas when you need them? <clears throat> uh, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. We're going back up. Nice. This will. This has to be four. Okay, Captain Walrus. Four fire pips incoming. Just wait and see. Okay, okay, wait. Five fire pips now? We're out of points. <coughs> we ran out of points. Okay, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired. You're all fired. You're all bad. That's not true, but a lot of you are bad. That is true. <clears throat> that was disappointing, guys. I'm not gonna lie. My fire is fast. I don't need someone that's fast. I need someone that's gonna, you know, kill people. That was kind of what I needed. All right. Uh, combat width is currently 32. Here, just uh, full consolidate these. So I can get the more broken troops out of here. Speaking of broken troops, I need you gone and you in. I then want... Preferably only my... Artificers in here. Yeah... 68, 59, 58, 58 will work. 
Okay, Zazak will be in charge because he's the only one with five fire pips. And let's do this. Okay, how are we doing up here? Uh, continue to siege things down. Is Grumbar willing to give me the one province? They are. Thank you. So now if we look at the decision to form all clan, we can do it. Ignores plus one fire pip invention. Look, I don't have the... I'm not getting rid of gene food cultivation. Money. I like money. Okay? I'm greedy. I am a big, big greed. Big greed. We roll a three in the fire face. No, we rolled a five. Huge. We roll a seven in the shock face. Huge. We roll a one. We roll a six. I don't know why I keep thinking I'm a Corintar. We roll a six in the fire face. Huge. We roll a six in the fire face. Huge. We roll an eight in the fire face. Huge. Reinforce. That's right, bozos. Get out of here. You thought. You thought you could handle the might of the goblins. But if I actually just, you know, pay attention to combat, we can do much better. It does tend to be that way. If you just halfway pay attention to anything, that does tend to work. And Kuzrugan wants to ally me. We probably do want to ally them. And they're attacking Korintar. Yeah, I, I probably do want to ally them. They sound more like Greedy Grin. Look, all goblins are greedy, okay? It's just, it's genetic. It's genetic. It's just, it's in our blood. Right, we could just piece out of this now. Don't really know if I want to, though. Also, take a look at our trade good map mode. <laughs> That's a lot of fungi. That's a lot of mushroom. That's a lot of mushroom. Okay, once we take Kortar's capital, then we'll probably just peace out for whatever money they'll give us. Again, I don't really I don't really care about what's going on out here. Say Korintar must suffer. Yeah, but that was me being dramatic. Uh, believable Ruin 2 Bomb. At the end of the day, might makes right. The strong will rule over the weak. And why wouldn't they? Anyone not sufficiently strong enough to preserve their independence will be stomped out by someone with the strength to conquer them. That's an issue for us goblins, who are not exactly the strongest of the races. In order to truly secure our independence, it would require something to revolutionize the face of politics. Something that no strength could best. Though the ability to create that is far out of our hands, that doesn't mean our enemies have to know that. To them, we have created something we deem the Ruin 2.0, an explosive able to recreate the Day of Ashen Skies as it was told to us. If we get attacked or if someone gets on our bad side, we'll use it. They don't have to know. It's nowhere near that powerful in reality. That's right. We've got a fake nuke. Believable Ruin Bomb. Plus 5 Diplo Reputation and plus 5 Vassalization Acceptance. Okay, next one. Uh, workshops, yeah. Especially in fungi provinces. We're also sitting on 30,000 ducats, so... Should spend it on something. Uh, almost everywhere actually has a workshop. This doesn't. It also doesn't need one, though. For the mission. So that's nice. Uh, yep, yeah, you can build a bunch of those. Very good. And we can go speed five here. There we go. We have won the siege four quick. Uh, go ahead and give me war reps and money. I'm just gonna peace out because I don't want to be in this war forever. Okay, uh, let's complete the new mushrooms. Yes, all provinces in the Serpent's Vale region have at least seven development and they have a manufactory. We have managed to take control over the Vale by using our superior military and some other rather horrifying methods. So after we established control of the region and purged those that opposed goblin rule over the Vale, we figured out that goblins are not well liked by the other races. 
Anyways, now all we have left to do is plant our mushrooms to see grand fields of mushrooms with great yields yearly. We can't wait to fill the stockpiles once more because surely it won't go wrong, right? All right, room for mushrooms. After the last measurements, we did not require more farmers in a while, but recently the growth has been the highest ever and food is becoming an issue again. The council sees the Vale as a great opportunity to grow more mushrooms because the soil is way more fertile and should provide better yields. To popularize farming in the Vale, the council used some propaganda, campaigning, and the promise of subsidies. We now have a large quantity of farmers that just planted the first generation of Vale mushrooms. This sounds like a great idea. Uh, minus 20% national tax modifier for two years. In two years, the not-so-suitable happens. I wonder if these guys know that you can't grow mushrooms outside. Anybody that's played Minecraft knows that. You can't just plant the mushrooms in the sunlight. You gotta plant them in the dark. Okay, move all of you in here and all of you down here. Let me get troll refugees. We're gonna take big hits to attrition here, but I don't care. Okay, grab our special units. Grab our cannons. That leaves us with 108,000 regular troopies. So we're going to split them into stacks of 35. Sure. So we got 35 to here. 35 to here. 35 to here. And then build another 35. We're going to split our artificers into two stacks. One that can drill on this province and one that can drill on this province. Let's drill with our four fire generals. The cannons can drill here. You can drill here. We're about to have a bunch of quartz separatists. You go deal with the rebels. Sounds good. And now that we have level four forts again, uh, an alternative use. The Veil project was, uh, actually, you know what? We'll wait until we get the event to do that one. We'll wait till we get the actual event to complete that mission. Deification. And I could take admin tech here to almost max out our inno. Almost. We'll just stab up again. Airnet Veer has been diggy diggy hold. Uh, what level are you at right now? Level 8. Okay, we can keep going. Uh, let's get these other buildings built first. University of True Forge Hall. We have the money, so I will spend the points to get the Inno. We'll see if we can get some Inno in a different way. fine uh, can I build workshop anywhere else I mean there are a couple of places where I'll need to develop to build them but it's okay you want generals okay we'll keep we'll keep making the generals uh, oh boy I don't remember who the last one was Well, we're just going to go with whatever I had highlighted, and if you get two because of that, well, congratulations, you got two. Uh, Waxer? Let's see what you've got. Six fire, I believe in you. I believe in you. We really like four fire generals, huh? Like, we're, we're good, but we can't be too good. Otherwise, what's the point? Oh, also, they blew up. Brian, 4-4. Four, four. Okay, Nurkor, here we go. You win these. You win these. Bada bing, bada boom, six fire. That was not six fire. Fun fact. Fun fact. Okay, uh, you drill with those... 
You drill with those. You throw your hat in the ring. <laughs> okay. If you think this will do well for you. And your hat is immediately brought it back out of the ring. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, we could form all clan whenever we want, but I want to finish my missions first. We can dig Cracked and Vroar. Sure. We can dig Verkal Vaskron. Sure. We can ally Kazrugan. Sure. We need to improve with Anbankost. And actually make sure that we buy the gem this time. Um, miss those rebels. Yep, welcome the orcs in. Everyone's welcome here in Rail Skulker. It's fine. Any cultures I could accept? We could accept Quartz Dwarf. It's an option, at least. It's something that we could do. We have the ability to do it. Uh, 35... Okay, we need one more cannon. Yep. And then... We can't afford another large stack of inventory, so we won't do it. Well, I mean, we could... We could afford it, sure. Like, we could physically afford it, but I don't want to pay for it. Also, this needs a fort, and this, get rid of that, needs a fort. Uh, yeah, we do need to do more expeditions, too. Shoot. What's the next expedition that we want to do? Do we want to start doing the things? I mean, I kind of want to keep doing these regular expeditions first. Monopoly time. Did we get the event? Did I skip it? Timber shortage. Don't care. Uh, in order to buy the gym, we need the owner of Ambencost to like us. Plus 125. So we need Ambencost to think we're pretty swell. We will go ahead and influence you. 541. Yeah, because of that Ambin cost trade. Monopoly me needs more fungi dev? What? Oh, right, 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 right. All fungi need five base production and a workshop. Right. Fungi, workshop, five base production. I think, is it just highlighting all of our fungi? Well, that's not very helpful, game, might I just add. I was really hoping that you would just highlight the ones that I haven't completed yet. That would be the preferred method that you do this, but hey. It is what it is. Okay. This needs some more dev. Courage development. This needs more 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 development. That's good, that's good. This needs to be improved. Three. Macro builder, you guys are so smart. You guys are so smart. Buy trade good, that's 45. That's a lot of development. We're out of Diplo points. Good news though. We're almost there. Yeah, like we're getting close. 
Uh, bad news, I can't do this expedition until I have Dipple points. So... Either we keep developing, or we do the expedition. And I'd rather just do the mission. Uh, not so suitable. It's been a bit since the farmer set up the veil and they have invested a lot. Yesterday they were able to farm their first yield, which was way slower than the regular time it takes to grow a mushroom, and all of the yields failed. It turns out that the soil and environment is bad for the mushrooms we want to grow, and consequently the farmers became very angry because they wasted a lot of money, time, and investment. The council wonders what they should do next. Let them protest, or we just pay off their debt. Let's pay off their debt. It's only a thousand ducats. We have the money. We have the money. Okay, build all those up. Build universities everywhere. Governing capacity buildings everywhere. There we go. Uh, barracks can be built. Sure. Beat up the gobbles for money. Income's up to 672. Okay, let's improve with our ally. Uh, improve relation. There we go. Temples? Why? For all hand threat? Well. Okay. We're going to have to do a lot of development to unlock that many d slots, though. Like a lot. Cutting edge advancements. Minus 10% tech cost. Spare no expense. Trolls. Spy network construction. That's cool, I guess. Goblins. Uh, who are you rivaled to? The Damish Temple. Yeah. Send a scornful insult to them. And we can now buy the Agate Gem. We have established ourselves as the rightful owners of Kugdir, the sister hold to the now collapsed Abdel Azra, which once held the Agate Gem. That gem is ours by right, but it is currently in the hands of the descendants of Fognir and the coffers of the Azra Bank. Still, they seem to have accepted that they will not rule Kugdir again, and they may part with the gem if we were to offer them a generous sum. All right, 12,000 crowns for plus 2.5% national tax. Huge. Massive. Absolutely worth it. <laughs> uh, hold digging. Kugdir can be dug again. Sure. We forged the Dwarvacron. Arg Ordston holds two of the things. Gorbarad owns one. The Citrine is still lost in an expedition in here somewhere. <sighs> All clan temples don't need a building slot. Oh. Show GP. There you go. It's an absolutely massive command. It's a good thing we won't have to fight them, right? <laughs> Right? Surely. Surely we won't have to fight them. Surely. Roughly around the Azra depths. Yeah, somewhere around here. Casually two times your dev. Yeah. I mean, they've casually just eaten all of Yanchen. And they're currently a great conqueror. Let's go, the elephants live. <laughs> I always hope they succeed the mission tree and die the other commands. I don't think they get uh, the disasters. Imagine losing an entire hold. Oh, you know, it's a small thing. So very easy to lose track of. Orcs, sure. Enact a government reform. Tier 11, manpower recovery speed, 10% morale of armies, a general becomes ruler when they die, or dynastic rule. Can royal marry, can have consorts, plus two diplo rep. 0.25 year of tradition. I think we just go citizenry for morale of armies.
<laughs> they dropped it on an orc army. That sounds like a good useful hold. All right, other uses. The council has decided that in order to clean up the mess that remains in the Vale and repay for the mistakes, they will attempt to give the Vale shrooms another use. Several councils and scientists got put on this task force to produce the wanted results. After a few months of experimenting and attempting to increase the growth as well as produce a positive side effect, some results came through. A shroom that both grows decently in the soil of the Vale and increases the stamina of goblins when consuming these shrooms. The military has already shown great interest in these mushrooms, so they will be profitable for sure. Oh well, at least you got something out of this. Why is it all capitalized like that? Uh, we can improve mushrooms until the end of the game. Minus one national unrest, plus 5% production efficiency, minus 10% stab cost. Alright, and an alternative use. The Veil project was a misfortune for our nation. A lot of money and time was invested in the Veil, and the yields only led to revolts and anger. Our military had to step up a few times, and now they have constructed some force to control the region better. The councils debated, and spies investigated neighboring nations' farms. Following this debate, a decision was made so that, in order to prevent any further protests, and as a way to protect our lands outside the mountain, the military is going to get full control of the Veil. Oh yeah, that sounds like a great idea. And don't worry, guys, we now get a permanent claim on the Orlazam area. Huge. We can finally take the Orlazam area. Uh, P. Ribbit, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, Service Vale region gets plus one local goods produced and plus 25% local garrison size. Then absolutely no stealing. Orlazam Ozdir is owned by us. Ever since our established control of the Vale, our government has been approached by farmers complaining about bandits and thieves in the Vale. They claim that at night, many thugs and bandits are seen running off with stolen riches from villages and cities. We've since discovered that these thugs and bandits are originating from Orlazam Ozdir. Maybe we should do something about them. It is one of the mysteries of all time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, lose 100 devastation in Orlazam Ozdir and lose 150 crowns. And now, smartest of all goblins... No province can have devastation. That's fine, but I'm busy developing mushrooms. Okay. Busy developing mushrooms. Mushrooms. There we go. Five. We're out of diplo points again. One, two, three, four. Only four more provinces, though. Only four more provinces, and then we can get the Mushroom Monopoly. And this will just happen automatically for plus one yearly prestige. And then that's all of the missions for Real Skulker. Uh, the command is now going to destroy their largest rival. Huge. Massive, actually. Uh, wait for the update from Mulan. Got it. We should probably ally Dog Eater. Just make sure Corintar doesn't get any ideas. Stalbor is also alive. Where are all my Diplo relation slots going? Irlium, Kazrugan, Clouded Eye. Yeah. We just don't have many. Uh, let's improve with our neighbors. Just because we can. Uh, unless I can insult someone. Nope. We cannot. Uh, we should get back to focusing on converting certain regions. So we can get back to doing the Serpent's Veil. Then we'll go over here. Kugdir will take forever to convert. But we should convert everything inside the mountains first and then focus on the outside stuff. Humans fell to the orcs in like one year. The dwarves lasted 7,000 years. Uh, no. That's not true. <laughs> that is straight up not true. The dwarves fell to the orcs immediately. As soon as the orcs showed up, the dwarves fell. They were already on the way out. They were already breaking apart. But like, they, they were done. They came out of holes your cat and that was that. That was that. Not would be nah. I mean nah. The Empire I should say. Not all dwarves fell, obviously. But the Empire definitely died. 
if you're talking about like every every single hold fell, then I mean sure, but even then not all holds fell. Empire fell before. It was it was falling apart. I don't know if it's fair to say that it was already dead. Uh, quick text is the native adventures and it's 1476. I have text 656. It's 92 dev. I hope you kill him, Eon. I hope. Freedom of the press. I'll get that national unrest. We can, we can afford some national unrest. Didn't you learn anything from our biz run? No. Oh, I still have to post those. Uh, okay. Also, all the kobold vods should be up now. They should be. I'm, I'm pretty sure they are. All right. Two more. Three more. Three more provinces. Empire was decaying for like, yes, it was decaying for a long time, and then the orcs showed up, and they got bamboozled. They got boomed. They died. Uh, arithmetons. Though mathematics, the simple act of using numbers, is something many will encounter over the course of their lives, some select professions make far greater use of it than others. An architect, for example, will be making extensive use of arithmetic to ensure his constructions do not collapse. This has been the greatest problem with grand constructions, that it takes a very long time to complete this math and verify it. The arithmetons present the solution to this particular problem. These peculiar automatons are shaped like humans, with workable hands and sufficient dexterity to utilize writing material. Additionally, they possess a significant calculating machine within their head, similar to a brain. When properly taught, an arithmeton can be directed to review calculations and produce the correct results if the details of the problem have made sufficiently clear. Why do we make it look like a human? Why do we do that? Uh, arithmetons, plus 10% national tax, 0.1 yearly inflation reduction, and 0.5 interest per annum. Okay, and I don't have the diplo points to start up new research. Okay, everyone's level five, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The Empire isn't dead till the final city falls. That's such cope. That's such cope. That's not true. That's just straight up not true. Lies. Over interior calculators? Yeah. Yeah, definitely over interior calculators. Very unnecessary. Very unnecessary. Uh, don't care about the corruption. We'll be fine. You don't lose the Empire stats no matter how much land you lose. Yeah, that's just cope. That's just cope. You know what's worse? Dying from cringe from how green boys I strolled into caves are actually dying from bombs and magic radiation because one guy was a true gamer. And it's definitely more embarrassing to die to just one guy. But also, we're gonna take this so we can max out our ano. Uh, go for the howitzer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Corn tar has gotten much smaller. That's what you get for messing with me. That's what you get for getting in my way. Okay, uh, we have a dead general, Rippy Dippy. This guy has zero fire pips, huge. Huge, troll refugees are fine. We should hopefully be able to complete the mushroom one now. Nope, nope, we sure can't, we sure can't. <sighs> one day. One day. Go ahead and, and nope. Force religious unity here. Get to work. Uh, boy, it sure is a nice day in the middle of Aelin tier in the year one. I'm sure nothing could go wrong. <laughs> I'm sure everything will be just fine. <clears throat> I mean, everybody goblin. Uh, at the moment, we're just converting religions. Just converting religions. Uh, Ogre Minority grows. I don't need the Inno, but I don't really want to lose the Prestige for no reason. 
There we go. You can get turned into a larger hold. Yeah, we'll expand the university. We have the money. You can get a trade building. You can get a trade building. I can't believe I haven't gotten that done already. Yeah, try and pull more money out of here. Uh, I mean, I am going to need to go here. We need to put a stack down there. You go drill and hold, hold your CAD. That way, if we get called into a war by Irlium against Sarian, we can go occupy what we need immediately. Uh, let's see here. Cantalism, stability, mill power. I want the development one. So we're gonna we're gonna wait a month. Okay. There we go. Okay, here we go again. Bribe, military support, minting rights, exempt conscription, admin, admin, take sides, admin, admin, mill, mill, mining rights. Um, minting rights, take sides, Republican traditions, fine. Conscription, mill support, exempt conscription, mining rights, cool. Let's click at the buttons. That's to five now. That's to five. And that's completed. A mushroom monopoly. The recent technological innovation inventions have made farming mushrooms easier. The yields are also greater, but now we face a problem. There are too many, and there is no space left. Hundreds of storage buildings full of mushrooms. There's no other nation that can outproduce our yields, and so the council declared that we control the entire market of mushrooms. Our scientists and economic council members are now working on making the mushrooms more attractive for other nations to purchase them because barely any are willing to buy these shrooms. We get the mushroom monopoly till the end of the game, minus two natural unrest, plus 10% production efficiency, and minus 20% stab cost modifier. Uh, imagine doing all the shatter coming through and thinking, oh boy, I love this Duking guy. He's such a lad. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Uh, hey, Elefanti, are we gobbling? We are. We're about to uh, form all clan. Once we get rid of some devastation in our land, then we'll have completed all these missions. Uh, it's all fungus? It is. It is all fungus from here. Uh, biggest wish for Goblin Nations, is there a way to change your flag to a more refined version? Hey, this is a beautiful flag. Thank you very much. We worked really hard on this. Okay, don't be a hater. Just because, you know, you're jealous of the beauty of these flags doesn't mean you have to be a hater. Okay, develop that... That, that, that is a lot of devastation. My goodness. Damn. Uh, and yeah, this is also going to be a decent amount of devastation as well. Eventually we'll get forts built where we need them, but for now, just developing it all the way is fine. Servants rot? No, please. No, no, no. No serpents rot. <laughs> Let the command get the serpents rot. Okay, like, look at them. They're huge. Let the Jade March suffer. Like, come on. He own. He's gonna own all of the Hales continent at this point. <sighs> okay. Smartest of goblins. We are victorious. Our inventions are the best, strongest, and most impressive. Our people are the smartest, and not one species nor nation is left in the mountain except for us. We are dominant, and no one will oppose our might in the mountain ever again. From, from a small nation, we found it in a broken heart of a train station to an unstoppable force that can oppose anyone. Every nation shall hear about the goblins, and we shall never be made fun of again. We have adapted to our mountain and made it ours. Welcome to the Rail Skulker Mountains. Plus one yearly prestige and point one global prosperity growth. <clears throat> okay, I think that's all. Yeah, that's all the missions. We did it. Big Lao? <laughs> Not for long. Not for long. All right, let's make a save here. And it is time 
to form all the clans. All of them. Having proven our might and united all cave goblin clans existing in the Western Dwarvar, we have declared all clans to be abrogated aside from Vez Udzin clan. The clan of all. The time has come to abandon petty rivalries and focus on progress for the goblin race. Though such a ra radical restructuring may no doubt rankle powerful and weak alike, the might and wealth at our disposal is enough to allay such concerns. This is truly a historic moment in our people's history. There is no way this can end badly for us. The mountains are ours for the future for goblin kind. <laughs> There's no way this will go wrong. Country changes to Vez Udzin clan. Oh, wait. Before I click this button, did the color change? Did the map color change? Or is it still going to be... Oh, no. A hat one hat and thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. <clears throat> okay. Oh, it's disgusting. It's so bad. It's so bad, dude. I got to stare at this. Uh... <clears throat> You're colorblind ever suffered except for you? Good for you. Yes, we'll change our ideas. Oh, God, dude, it's so bad. It's so bad. Uh, you added the green screen, yeah. All right. Well, let's take a look at our national ideas. <clears throat> we have plus 100% inno gain. Useless. Uh, we already have 100 inno. Plus one possible policies and minus 15% stab cost modifier. We have enhanced excavation. Excavating holds, mine shafts, quarries, and tunnels is a complicated matter, as the serpent spine is a twisted mess of various layers of rock and mineral. Thankfully, the goblin fondness for explosives comes in handy once again. While using explosives and ex excavations is dangerous, it can improve our work times if used properly. Just keep open flame away from the fuses. Minus 5% construction time, minus 10% dev cost. Blazing the trail. The All Clan, by its very nature, is a monumental invention that has united goblin kind like never before. This invention shall be one that inspires many more, as we form a state capable of real, unrivaled progress, unlike anything the world has seen before. The very bones of the earth will shake with the thunder of our genius, and the darkness of the caves will be banished by the brilliance of our minds. Minus 25% institution embracement cost, and plus 25% institution spread. <clears throat> You better press Meta Chaos on cool. I don't even know what you mean by that. Uh, all goblins home. Once, goblins and dwarves fought over the caves and tunnels, with the dwarves in time carving their rails and holes from the earth itself and destroying any attempt for goblin kind to organize itself likewise. Then the orcs came and killed the dwarves and enslaved many of us. Such was so for millennia. But now, with the emptying of the serpent spine of orcs and, unfortunately, many of our kin, we have been able to forge a true home for all of goblin kind. Let us ensure that the All Clan remains a home for all goblin kind forevermore. Minus 1% prestige, okay. Minicast is beautiful. The gov menu is a placeholder, by the way. I'm sure you all enjoy it. Okay. Uh, passion for progress. The wheels of progress turn, but what turns them? The drive of our people to achieve innovation. But sometimes the wheels stall. Inspiration falters, and drives run flat as limitations are reached. Sometimes lines need to be crossed for progress to be made. This is unfortunate, and we will have to ensure that cruelties are kept to a necessary minimum. We will not, of course, throw morals out the window in our attempts to make breakthroughs, at least while anyone is watching. Minus 10% tech cost. All clan land reforms. From the most remote cavern to the most industrious hold, land usage is meticulously managed by the government to ensure maximum efficiency. Engineers and town planners trained in the art of maximizing space both horizontal and vertical ensure that housing, commerce, and industry are all properly synchronous harmony. Of course, sometimes areas need to be demolished or changed as new zoning needs to come into light, but it is the government's duty to ensure everything works like a well-oiled machine. If a few must be kicked to the curb, what of it? Plus 10% goods produced. Uh, All Clan College of Artifice and War. Artifice is the beating heart of the All Clan, and in order to ensure its standards are kept up to snuff, there must be institutions dedicated not only to regulating the practice, but also teaching it. Guilds and loan instructor apprentice relationships cannot be the basis for a formal, industrial economy at the scale that we envision. Hence, the foundation of the All Clan College of Artifice and War will allow us to cultivate inventive and most critical of all, loyal minds in service to the state. Better to have the mad inventor feel indebted to the state rather than scorned by it. Plus 10% artillery combat ability and minus 5% advisor cost. 
and All Clan united. The All Clan has brought all of Goblin Kind together whether or not they live in our borders. By creating a unified and modern industrial state, we have created a model for not only goblins but others who seek our knowledge and expertise. The All Clan stance is a shining testament to what a so-called savage or monstrous people can achieve when given the right opportunity. Naturally, we must ensure our own success first and foremost, even if it comes at the expense of the savage and monstrous. Plus 5% land fire damage and plus 10% artificer loyalty equilibrium. <clears throat> uh, shift taking quality. Quality will probably be our next idea group. Because, you know, we're going to have to fight them. So we're going to need something. <laughs> we, we're going to need something. And we're going to need more troops too. 326,000 is not going to cut it. Can't be America. They don't have a functioning rail network. Fair. Fair. Wow, that's a lot of missions. Okay, uh, setting a precedent. So, stab one. We... All that's true. Have monstrous nation, regular states to sail by government, or we have government reform progress of at least 50. We have two of those things. And all the funds be true, we are not monstrous or loyalty, but that doesn't matter. We, we have it. Uh, we have come a long way since the disunited days of old, scavenging and foraging a means to survive in these dark depths. We are now a proud nation of artificers, ready to face whatever the surface can throw at us. The time has come to formalize our laws. Bring forth the prefectorums. The pragmatic codification happens. Uh. Where to go? <laughs> it takes a day? Okay. <laughs> I was like, huh? What you mean? Okay. Pragmatic codification. In the heart of Vez Uden clan, the leaders of the five distinct pentapendemoniac perfectorums convened, each representing a facet of the nation's rich culture and history, paving the way for the unification of the West Serpent Spine. First among them was the eccentric figurehead of the Discombobulatorium. Again, this, these are not real words. These are not real words. A gathering of wizards and artificers who thrived in the realm of chaos. Their unpredictable experiments setting the tone for the meeting. Beside him sat the Clodhoppers, the daring and audacious adventurers who fearlessly tamed the labyrinthine caverns of the Serpent Spine. With their jovial spirit and unrivaled knowledge of the subterranean landscape, they contributed their unique perspective to the discussions. Next, the Cloak and Swaggers... Nice. The Cloak and Swag. Okay, I like these guys. Brought their Shroud of Mystery to the gathering. Assassins Rose... <laughs> Cloak and swaggers. That's a good one. That's a, I like that one. Assassins, rogues, and the vigilant state military formed their ranks. Their silent presence, a reminder of their special skills that ensured the nation's safety. Following the Cloak and swaggers came the mask clad pharmaceuticals? Pharmaceuticals? Like pharmaceuticals, but pharmaceuticals? Like poisons? Uh, uh, offering a touch of unconventional expertise. As creators of both pharmaceutical wonders and controlled and uncontrolled substances, their role was vital in the nation's intricate balance. Last but not least, the Glorious Erectors. Come on, bro. Come on. You can't name them the Glorious Erectors. Master builders of the realm contributed their vision to the assembly. Did nobody... Nobody thought about that one? No one sent that through a second time to think about that? The Glorious Erectors? They're just like, yeah, that sounds good. No connotations. Nothing. All right. Dedication to crafting marvels that defied both logic and gravity stood as a testament to the creativity that abounded within Vez Uden clan. Together, amidst the electric assembly, they embarked on a monumental task, forging a cohesive set of rules for the new nation. With a shared commitment to stability amidst the eccentricity, they etched the agreement into steadfast rock. Here, amidst the fusion of chaos and order, the leaders of Vez Uden clan penned the promises that would shape the nation's future, a testimony to the harmonious collaboration of the Pentapendomaniac Perfectorums. <sighs> and then we smash the rock. Oh, okay. Uh, tier 1, the Pentapendomonium. Uh, it's like artificers. But we get the Pendamonium ability. Okay. Uh, I think that's just all the regular artificer stuff, right? But we also get Artificer Organization of Discombobulatorium, where artifice research takes only five years. And we don't have to rely on the gnomes anymore. Huge. Uh, and that gives us 10% production efficiency and 5% special unit force limit and plus two max absolutism. 
And we lose two stab. Okay. Uh, the Prefectorate Electorate. Scores of our wonderful subjects gathered to watch the proceedings. Five of Vez Uzen Clan's best and brightest arrive at the central podium, where they shall compete in a myriad of intricately crafted trials to determine the most suitable ruler for our great nation. These trials were designed to test the most important aspects of statecraft and consist of relevant tasks such as basic literacy, rap battles, ability to launder money, and knowledge of goblinic profanities. Better than what we've got usually. Uh, the contest nears closing, with each contestant winning several trials for their respective faction. The final winner is... A 353, a 553, a 244, a 635, and a 243. Or we can just say that we don't care. Okay, let's figure out how this pandemonium thing. <laughs> I can't I can't believe you put the fucking <laughs> Clash of Clans goblin in here, bro. <laughs> oh, that's funny. These guys, I love these little guys, okay? These little guys, I love them. This guy, though, come on. Come on. <laughs> Plays on there. That's funny. That's funny. I like these. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Perfector and Profiteering. Each faction will provide 40 influence. Over 40 influence will provide a boon. A parlay. We gain 10 pandemonium. <clears throat> All factions under 10 influence will gain plus 10 influence and 0 0.05 influence for 10 years. Oh boy, I don't know how any of this works. Uh, or meta chaos. Uden clanners strive to live in a state of perfect chaos, a term first coined by Gobophilius the Wise. Meta chaos is the ultimate entropy that shall eventually engulf Halan. Until then, our caves will have to suffice. Well, copyright? It, it's a placeholder. For me, though, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Also, they're not going to get sued. They're not going to get sued. Technically speaking, it's not even for profit. Like, and if they did threaten to sue, then you just get rid of it, right? Like, it's whatever. Uh, pandemonium. At maximum power, Pandemonium gives plus four national unrest, 10% tech cost reduction, 50% institution spread, and minus two length of election term. Should we click the elector, though? Should we, like, choose our leader first? I'm going to. I'm going to go for the 635. Well, how long does our... It's two years. But what about the Glorious Erector? Wait, he's a 635. I'm not going to pass up on a 635. And I don't have a current cult. Um... I guess we no longer care about Republican tradition. So. I don't know. Production efficiency, trade efficiency. Production efficiency is the correct answer. Dev cost. Do we have a lot of development that we need to do here? New estates? Oh, we do have new estates. All right, it's trade efficiency and dev cost. It's fine. Uh, we do have some more government reforms that we can lock in. Because I believe some of them were taken away from us. Because they were no longer valid. Looks like only one of them was. Which is tier 9, consolidate power. I don't know. All power cost, I guess. I haven't forgotten about the button. Don't worry. We'll get back to the button. Don't don't worry. We got other things we got to do. Then we'll get back to the button. Sure. I'll go for all power cost. <clears throat> can you get mages back? Yeah, I can invite them back whenever I want. If I stab up. Okay, fine. Meta chaos. A random meta chaos event happens. Oh, God. A singular, quiet day. Stillness. Reflection. Peace. A moment of calm in the eye of the storm. The history of our nation is long and storied. A tapestry of chaos woven from the threads of a million souls. 
we've overcome much to reach where we stand today. Yet today, something utterly alien has happened, something so antithetical to our nature that it makes the nation, typo, pause to think. Today, nothing happened. Not a single event of note. Nomad experiments, collapsing caves, bomb threats, narcotic frenzies, or chaotic revolts. A singular day in which nothing of note happened at all. A singular, quiet day. Such a momentous occasion will surely be remembered for years to come. I thought we had scheduled a party for today. Huh? Cool. Plus one stab. Yeah. Yeah. My chair is getting low. <clears throat> okay. Estates. They took my crown land. We have the shamans with guns, and we have the dealers. Our absolutism is bad. We're not going to have absolutism, I think. I wouldn't think so. Uh, okay. Ooh, I get my monthly admin powers now. You got the rarest event? We're, I'm just built different. I'm just built different. Uh, all right. I will take the monthly admin power. I will... Give the shamans with guns. And I will... I kind of want to give out religious culture. Yeah, I'm going to give out religious culture. Why not? Sure. And then as for the dealers... I don't necessarily need to give the dealers anything. But I'll give them bookkeeping. It keeps our uh, state maintenance cost down. But other than that, they're already loyal. Seize land. Can I could do a parlay now? My factions. Oh God, yo, these look dope. Uh, the Discombobulatorium. Composed of the most brilliant minds known to goblin kind, the Discombobulatorium is the high council of artificers that governs all explosive tomfoolery within these borders. Often prone to trickery, these mischievous souls engage in everything from greasing floors to turbo in... turbo encabulating? Family pets? I don't know what that means. Uh, plus 20% advisor cost, minus 10% idea cost, minus 20% institution embracement. We then have the glorious erectors, Born of the massive shaft renaissance, the glorious erectors are the starving artists of Ez Uzun clan, creating both wonders and horrors of architecture on a daily basis. Even when there is nothing to build, the erectors will find some project to busy themselves with, often to the dismay of the populace at large. Minus 5% construction cost, 0.25 increase of inflation reduction a year, and 5% goods produced. We have the pharmaceuticals. Looking for a fix? Well, the pharmaceuticals can provide something similar, assuming you aren't too concerned with your personal well-being. The pharmaceuticals, or Big Harma, nice, as they're better known, handle some of the most important jobs for any functioning nation. The production and sale of drugs. 10% trade efficiency, 20% improved relations, 0 0.08 global monthly devastation. Yeah, we're going to need forts everywhere. We're, uh, we're going to need better forts, or forts everywhere. Okay, we have the Clodhoppers. In a sea of sheer ludicrousness, the Clodhoppers fill the important niche in society of dealing with the dangerous Denzians of the Dark, acting as the spider-riding, beast-brawling ranchers of the Serpent Spine. They are also armed to the teeth, without exception. Minus 15% cav cost, 5% tech cost, 5% all estate loyalty. And Cloak and Swaggers. The Cloak and Swaggers represent the tough, the sneaky, and the fabulous. This prefectorum handles all facets of war and espionage, staffing our armies and spying on our enemies, and looking incredible while doing it. 15% spy network construction, plus 1% prestige decay, 2.5% discipline. <clears throat> Alright, well, it looks like starting off, Discombobulatorium is in charge, which is fine. Income is looking good. All right, are there any other any other buttons I need to click? What's my artifice capacity at? Forty eight. Okay. Uh, there's currently no debate. Oh, it took all of our parliament seats away. Okay. Which means my dev cost is gone. It's unfortunate. Hello, Mr. Hand. Thank you for the follow.
Ooh, I kind of want the dev cost one still. Yeah. He does have the great kin strife. Pandemonium at least 90. Ah, I see. I see. So you want to keep dropping this. You don't actually want to let it max out. Understood. I'm sure I'll be able to do that. <clears throat> you get disaster at zero? Okay, so we just want to keep it balanced. Why do you want me to get the mages back so bad? Why? They're not going to do anything for us. They're just going to be chilling. Also, our government capacity is not looking great. Alright, uh, goblins are great. We have Prestige of 50, and at least 75 provinces that we own are goblin, and we have three employed level 3 advisors that are goblin culture. <clears throat> you only had one disaster per so far? Yeah, but we don't want any more. Uh, goblins are truly a noble people, filled with righteous pride and love for our neighbors. We are the most trustworthy, most disciplined, and best dressed individuals on the face of Halan. One of those things may be true, but definitely not all three. And our actions reinforce this notion daily. There's no competition or argument to the contrary. If you find anyone that disagrees, they are an enemy of the state. You know what? Actually, I've changed my mind. I think all three of those things are very true. Very, very true and very good. Uh, goblins are, in fact, the most trustworthy, disciplined, and best trust individuals. Uh, you know, I was I was incorrect. I was incorrect. 300% accurate. Yes, that's, that's true. Uh, goblin population boom. 25 years... Uh, minus five percent construction time and plus fifteen percent national manpower modifier. Seize them! You can't seize me. I am I'm above the the random populace. I am but a god amongst men. Very green nation. <clears throat> All right, goblins are great. When asked about the greatest nation, Vez Udzin clan undeniably springs to mind as the first choice for all who respond. True, so true. Our discombobulatorium consistently, consistently churns out innovation after innovation. The glorious erectors construct marvels previously unseen in the many caverns and roads of the Serpent Spine, while the pharmaceuticals ensure that their products flow down the rails at a remarkable pace. The Claude Hopper's expeditions into the depths of our cave dwellings yield ancient treasures one after another, flooding wealth through the streets of our holds and bending the creatures within to our command. The cloak and swaggers adeptly infiltrate the innermost circles of our neighboring realms, unearthing every secret and discovering every angle to exploit. Mithril extracted from our minds finds its way to the markets of Kassanath to Prasan, while our iron is forged in smithies across Kanor and Garudia, from plate and sword to tools and fineware. Serpent Bloom brings forth an abundance, nourishing the ever-expanding goblin population. The bounty of the serpent spine is readily available at their fingertips, regardless of their residence within these bounds. Our elite armies are unmatched, ready to face any adversary with nothing but the finest in arms and armor, defending the glory and safety of our people. Across Vez Udzin clan, the citizens bask in their prosperity and riches, an unprecedented luxury within these dark corridors. From Kugdir to Holzor Kad, every goblin within our borders experiences the stability provided by our nation. Our achievements stand higher than any in the past, and it is likely that none will rival them anytime soon. Our greatness towers above all else on Halan. Surely, nothing bad will happen now. Uh, we gained five pandemonium, ten Republican tradition, and severe overgobulation until the end of the game, giving plus two natural unrest and plus twenty percent dev cost. Overgobulation can be decreased by completing missions. All right. Uh, one of the funds be true: stability at least three, or it must be negative three. Huh. Okay. Uh, discombobulate. The discombobulatorium is in constant state of an innovation. New shoes, new couches, new benches, new sofas, new long chairs. Regardless of their spontaneity, they are truly geniuses and truly are the lifeblood of our nation. Give them some fun and peace and quiet, and they'll squander all of it. But they might produce something useful in the process. Permanently increase static artifice capacity by 5, then discombobulatorium gains 5 influence, and we're going to get an event. Scrap mechs. The Scrap Mech, a piloted suit of scrap steel with a magically heated coal furnace to run the engine. Only a goblin could have designed such a pile of junk and have it work so reliably. This mech will allow a trained goblin to walk unhindered into battle, protected by the crude amalgamation of steel and other scavenged metals, and wielded massive interchangeable hand attachments, such as large saw blades, sharp claws, hammers, anything you can think of. 
The sheer momentum of one of these babies charging into the enemy lines, flames spewing out the front, smoke belching out the back, gleeful goblin cackling ringing from the top will be enough to break any formations. Eureka. Unlocks invention as an artificer privilege. <clears throat> Uh, okay. Horrific beasts. All provinces in the West Nest area are owned by us. And we have the Yidabalaran dungeon. Yidabalaran? Balaran? Whatever. Above us, an inhospitable wasteland that few could ever hope to inhabit. Below, goblin eating beasts, the likes of which no one can hardly comprehend. We'll take the beasts. Alright. We move that to Yidab's nest and beastiary events may name may now fire during expeditions. And setting up shop. Kugdir has at least 20 production and we have at least 6% or more trade power in the Omdir node. Despite our extreme success in marketing drugs to our own people, one country simply does not suffice. We need money and we need it now. Thankfully, there is an entire world outside of these caves that represents an entirely untapped market. To the surface we go. The gob for the job. Free trade between the smattering of Ascani states and our proud hold of Kugdir has, at times, been prosperous. But our new focus on the drug trade has resulted in a massive upswing in traffic to the hold, with peddlers and quack solvers alike wishing to get in on the action. With the recent extremely violent passing of the hold's former governor, the time has come to elect a new official to oversee operations. With Kugdir's new specialization in narcotics, perhaps a chemist would be best, or we could take the boring option and simply put a trader in charge. But where's the fun in that? Uh, perhaps a trader till 1664 we get 15 trade value and the center of trade is increased by one or glass can now be produced in Kugdir instead of iron we'll put a chemist in charge and that sounds more fun what's the worst that could happen check the image I'm I'm doing missions I did, there's a lot of things I gotta click on okay where are you? Uh, scrap mechs. 0.5 infantry shock for our artificers. It only takes 10 artifice capacity, though. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so... Next up, we have to start upgrading the... You want me to build cavalry? How dare you? How dare you, good sir? <clears throat> Glass just made us less money, didn't it? No. Glass is worth more. All right, a haven for chaos. There are no places on the face of Halan that allow one to exist in a state of pure, unadulterated chaos. Thankfully, there is one below that face, burgeoning in a state of meta-chaos and thriving, suffering, through it. Let us sustain this delicate balance by feeding the chaos and letting it grow. Your next meta chaos interaction will fire two events. Involuntary revenue. Five provinces are holds and have temples and a base tax of 10 and we have government reform progress. The involuntary revenue service or the IRS is our primary tax collecting service. Seven thirteenths of all economic output is collected and subsequently squandered in theory. However, our rampant desire to waste money is being hindered by goblins who simply are not paying their taxes. They cite such silly reasons as, that's ludicrous, and I don't feel like paying my taxes. This cannot stand. Gain 15 pandemonium, lose 50 government reform progress, and temples gain the IRS activities until the end of the game, plus 20% local tax modifier, plus one local unrest, and plus one allowed number of buildings. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> we aren't safe from the IRS and Aminar. That's right. That's right. The IRS will find you. Uh, glorious Erectors need 25 influence. Launches the Erecting Frenzy. It would be wise to enter this scenario with ample funds. What does ample funds mean? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, priestly Tax Collectors. 20 provinces have temples. Wow, exactly. And we have a treasurer, masterman, inquisitor, or theologian. Goblin shamans are known to be equal parts pious and charlatans, and this works in our favor. A goblin unswayed by coin is hardly a goblin at all. Leveraging the influence these goblins of faith possess over the populace, we can finally establish a moderately efficient tax collection service. Okay. Mandatory contributions will be granted to the shamans with guns. 
Every five, every year, five random holds have a 15% chance to gain one tax dev. Point z or plus 0 0.05 monthly increase of pandemonium and plus one max absolutism. Cool. Now we have the drug barons. You are the worst. You want me to boost my mercantilism? I can't believe this. I can't believe this, dude. It was going so well. 1444. I can't believe you put in a boosting of mercantilism. I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed. Okay, we need to start doing these expeditions, which means I need monarch points. Which means I have to unpause, which terrifies me. Uh, two years, I can do another meta chaos event. Okay, and I can't boost these guys manually, so like the glorious erectors will just have to wait for their time in the sun. Uh, or the cave, I guess. Build those. So I can't build the cathedral immediately. But I can build them. Well, wherever I can build them, it will give me a building slot anyway, so just build them all. Called faction influence me. I know, but like. I don't really want to click that button. Be real with you. That button sucks. Alright, build all of these up everywhere. We're full built. Let's go. <laughs> Auckland has it disabled? Why? <laughs> Wait a second. Well, now, now I want to use it. Now I want to use it. Alright, we have 55 artifice capacity. Anything else we can throw into our artificers? I mean, I like black dames to your bullets. I'd also like gene food cultivation. Or sorry, not gene food cultivation. Mechanism workers. But I have to get rid of the E++ compound. Uh... Mirrors? Living mirrors minus two national unrest. Uh, does Cathedral have bonus as well, or did it do a bad job? I would, I would assume it also gets plus one building slot. Guess we'll find out. The worst comes to worst, we just delete the buildings. Nice. Nice. Patron of the arts. <laughs> We got the best one. Uh, start debate. Uh, Ellie is a dev? Yes, the dev is in chat. Fun fact. Fun fact, chat. You never know when the mission tree devs might actually be here. Yes? Uh, please give me... Okay, it's not going to give me the dev cost one. I give up. I, I tried so hard, but I just have to give up now. Truce with Grombar is ended. Okay. So, yeah. We need to do... We need to do this one first. <clears throat> Elf Riders, don't, don't worry. Astera just sent me the, the screenshot of the messages. I'm aware. I'm aware. All right, expedition. Let's do Yidab's nest. And let's organize. So you guys said that this one's like actually difficult. Is it difficult the whole way through, or is it only difficult at the end? Uh, supplies, prepare food. Lots of food, apparently. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm sure that with this is good enough. Right? I'm sure this is fine. I'm sure they'll make it. And if it's not, well, we've got more goblins. I do like the flag. We're very smart. Look at our good crown. Uh, first chamber. Taking the first steps into the cavern, we quickly find ourselves inside a massive natural chamber infested with silk and cobwebs. And hiding behind these webs, creeping through the floors and walls, the flickering torchlight reveals swarms of spiders. 
These arachnids, ranging from the smallest pinhead-sized crawlies to the cat-sized beasts, quickly flee the luminance, but the knowledge of their presence causes many members of our expedition severe discomfort. Upon the chamber itself, the path forward is clear through a tunnel in the far cave wall. However, some slight clues, like unusual cobweb patterns, seem to hint that previous expeditions may have been here in the far past. Finding clues as to the remains of these past expeditions may be a great boon. Let's search for leads. Old campsite. Following disturbed patterns of webbing, as well as other subtle clues, we managed to find the remains of an old expedition. And judging by the dust and webbing present on the collapsed tents and long burnt out fire pit, this seems to be a truly ancient Dorvan campsite. This could hold valuable clues. I, I suppose. An ancient cartographer. Investigating the campsite, we find many corpses of long-dead dwarven adventurers. While it's unclear what caused the death of the explorers, one of the corpses contains a notebook of what we believe to be annotations regarding this cave system, including drawings of this cavern as well as a few rough maps of other areas. It seems like this previous expedition had managed to go deeper into this cave system and set up here while returning to the exit. However, as the general has written some ancient script, we're unable to fully decipher information contained within. We could try to decode the writings, or we could try and speak with the dead. But we're goblins, so is he... Is he actually... Ah, what's the worst gonna happen? After preparing the extensively and setting all of the precious components, the ritual begins. The ghostly visage of a long-dead dwarven explorer flickers into view. The image isn't perfect, and some of what is said is too faint to be understood, but enough reaches our ears to help us on our journey. Hidden some of the treasures we couldn't carry in a crevice past a web tunnel, Beware the rumbling. Yib. We shall use this information wisely. Wisely. Okay. Uh, spider cattle. Moving on through the main tunnel, we come upon a most interesting and disturbing sight. Large cattle-sized mites with bulging abdomen. While their, appar while their appearance causes revulsion in many of our explorers who immediately reach for their weapons, these beasts don't seem to be immediately aggressive towards us. In fact, they even seem interested in our presence cautiously and even gently reaching out their feelers towards our food supplies. Although there seems to be an obvious way forward from this location in the form of a large passageway, we could take respite here for a while and maybe even deal with these creatures. Yeah, I've gone as far as the spider cattle, so I know that feeding them uh, means that we don't get jumped by spiders. But after this, I don't know anything. We feed the creatures part of our supply of food, and the mites seem to be intelligent enough to be grateful for it. They lead us towards a side tunnel hidden behind a layer of cobwebs, and after a few hours of wading through the cramped passage, we emerge within a larger passageway. Looking back through the passageway, it seems that taking this side path helped us avoid a very, fairly large nest of pretty threatening looking spiders. Thank you, mites. Point five morale. <clears throat> Splitting tunnels. Yeah, they sound like on the month tick. I mean, I like it. <laughs> Makes it go faster. Moving onwards from the wretched spider nest, we find ourselves upon a branching pathway. The tunnel on the right seems to be heavily webbed, though from where we stand, most of the web seems to be old. On the other hand, the tunnel on the left has a slight breeze coming from it. This is where I left off the last time I did this. And I think I chose to go down for a slight breeze. Slight breeze might lead to a bigger cave old webs when well, they mentioned something about loot let's go to the right let's see what happens web tunnel Heading for the tunnel on the right, the webbing seems to grow more and more dense, up to the point where it seems impossible to pass through without systematically taking the webs down. We could keep cutting it by hand, despite this being very time in intensive, or we could let the elements deal with it for us. No. Don't just set it on fire. That seems like a terrible idea. <clears throat> keep cutting. Webbed treasure. Clearing the webbing to clear our path hasn't been easy, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel, or rather, in the middle of it. While we're moving some of the cobwebs closest to the walls, the gleam of our torchlight reflected on something shiny. And looking into it, it seems like someone left a small pile of treasure inside a nook in the wall. Yes, that is the loot that I would assume the dude was talking about. We're up to income of 807. Uh, webbed off entrance. Following the tunnel, we reach a point where it widens off into a spacious cavern. However, our way forwards is blocked off. 
A solid curtain of silk cuts the cavern in half, preventing our progress and stopping us from viewing the other side. Our blades don't seem to be enough to cut through the white wall, so our options to go onwards are limited. However, this seems like a good spot to set up camp and think of the next steps in our expedition. Uh, repay them in full and send them back out. Let's build two more guys. <clears throat> build more infantry? Like in general? Or for the expedition? Oh, for the next one, you say build more infantry. Nah, we win this first try. You ready for this? Easy, 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 easy. Oh, right, we have to upgrade it first. Ta-da! Level one, that also completes a mission. Uh, horrific beasts and where to tame them. Uh, with each passing generation, more and more vital knowledge is lost. No one remembers where the goopy goblin eater resides, but we're pretty sure it's somewhere around where we just built our new orphanage. We should probably write this stuff down. <laughs> uh, we get an expedition in three random provinces, and General Weevil the Bold, a 3442, becomes available for duty. All right, and now you need 16,000 cavalry. <sighs> fine. Fine, fine, fine. 10. Five, one. Can't believe Billy Cavalry, dude. God, gross. All right, Yidab's Nest. Organize the expedition. Start the preparations. Uh, supplies. Preserve a lot of food. I keep clicking the button, even though it's full. Organization. Okay, you said that this was difficult. So if I just like, I don't know, max out my organization. Then that would, like, do it? Like, you're really hyping this up. So if I get through this, and I dunk on it, and I waste all these points, I'm going to be very upsetty spaghetti. Do I need to raise morale? I can raise it once. Like, this is, this is 590 preparation cops. That's so much. That's so many points. Whatever. Go for it. Hey, fun fact. Uh, you need to actually send your troops. Fun fact. Too dark to see. We're goblins. We don't need to have lights. We can see in the dark. All right. Well, let's do shock and awe raids. Uh, for once, the Prefectorums are in agreement. We need more land. The Serpent Spine has become uncharacteristic uncharacteristically full of life and angry dwarves in recent years. And as such, we may need to take unprecedented measures in capturing this land for ourselves. What's a little elbow grease when fun is on the line? Permanent claim on the Serpent's Reach and Middle Dwarvar. The event loud or low happens. To do! To do! Um. Probably movement speed. No, we'll go land fire damage. Is your admin tech less than 200 points? Uh, my admin tech is 142 admin points, and that includes plus 20% for being ahead of. Yeah, for being ahead of time. It's very expensive. <laughs> Uh, breaching the wall. Tag, we started as Rail Skulker. The cavern in which our expedition currently resides is very spacious. However, our way forward is blocked by a massive wall of web and silk. This white barrier spans the entirety of the cave and is solid enough to repel most of our efforts to cut through. Using a combination, typo, of magic and enchanted weapons, we were able to, after much effort, make an opening. But some of our explorers believe that a well-stoked flame could be much quicker in taking care of the wall. No, we're not just going to set things on fire, because that's how you burn yourself alive. Revealed riches. Though cutting our way through the webbing is taking a while, we found plenty of reasons to keep going. Hidden within the walls of silk lie many pockets and sacks, some filled with danger, yes, but many filled with remains of old expeditions and even riches. Good. We gotta freaking pay off this expedition. It's expensive as hell. All right, we got our cavalry, gross. Got our cavalry, bring them all together. 
Give me this production efficiency guy. Get him to level five. And Gorbarad, you, I believe, are the target. So let's get our troops moving down there. Let's split up our cannons onto our two stacks. And let's make our way down. 35k to reinforce and 35k to reinforce. Beautiful. Oh, also, um, let's get these back up to level 6 now. We can delete this fort. Ooh, that's level 4. We don't like that. Here, let me make sure that all my forts are actually... Level 6. Sure. Medicaid. Oh, is it Medicaid time? No. Lies. Lies. We have five months. We have five months. Tunnel in the Heights. After cutting our way through the Wall of Web, we can see a tunnel on the other end of the cavern. However, close to the ceiling on this newly revealed side of the cavern, we also spot a smaller tunnel, somewhat close to the remaining stretches of the Silken Wall. Climbing up these shouldn't be impossible, but us cutting through the wall might have weakened it. Ground level or tunnel above? Let's go up. Sheer climb, climb wall, M success. Found some treasure. Okay. <laughs> uh, cool. Good to know. Found some treasure. Ominous roaring. You hear an ominous roaring noise. Head onwards. I'm sure that... I'm sure that's not going to have any negative consequences. I'm sure it'll be fine. Poisonous tunnel. Poisonous... Tra hey, what happened? Guys, what happened? <laughs> what happened to localization? Deactivate them. M. Avoid them. H. What does M and H stand for? What does M and H stand for? Because the the tunnel one was M. Medium and hard? Oh, is that what it is? Ooh, maybe. Okay, it is. It is. It is. Elfonte said it is. Avoid them. Success. Avoided successfully. 25 morale, 75 loot. <laughs> Easy, bro. Easy. Ominous Roaring 2. We're not building defenses. We're not dwarves, we're goblins. We keep going. Besides, what if the roaring is behind us? All right, let's declare for Gorbarad. I guess we go speed four. Look, it, you know, sure, maybe it's not a fully completed localization but it does tell me the important things like how much loot I'm getting that's all that really matters spiders running your way lots of spiders running towards the expedition oh no it's definitely coming towards us it's not behind us study them they're fleeing something I'm sure it'll be fine god these spiders are such cowards bro such cowards honestly okay now we have one month. We have one month. Oh, look at that. Segdir got Jad's land. I don't know why, but they did. <clears throat> okay, and now we can click this button. Meta Chaos. This is going to go poorly. Really hot box. Yeah. That's the good stuff. Ain't that right, boss? Very forward thinking of Big Harma to dispose a few hundred tons of their waste product by lighting it up in a giant pyre in the middle of the hold. Of course, they forgot the tiny detail that our holds have no proper ventilation. But as one of the bystanders of varying degrees of innocence, or lack thereof, I simply consider it a free toke. Just our luck they weren't burning that befuddlement stuff, right? R right? 
Uh, Rail Yard gets doped out. Minus five local unrest for ten years. Okay. <laughs> okay. And we lose ten pandemonium. Uh, efficient bureaucracy. Over the course of an otherwise uneventful day of meetings with foreign dignitaries, a number of visitors have made remarks that make you shudder to remember. Our civil service efficient? Not just that, but organized and quick to respond to? Gah! Whatever did happen to some good old-fashioned nepotism. Actually, hold that thought. I have a cousin who is just about literate. Uh, up and Adam Grabby Pebblehead Vez Udzenkland, a skill question mark master of mint, who is 15% more expensive for our country to employ. Okay. So, so he's more expensive? He's level one. He's even bad. <clears throat> he's even bad. But you know what? I do believe in nepotism. I think nepotism's great, actually. Why are you so expensive? Well, you're just not half off. Why are you so... Oh, right. We have... I have an idea. Uh, Shoot at Games, thank you for the 10 months. Appreciate it. Very kind. Skill questionable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So who are you allied to, Argortson? Arnanin, Bulwar, and Jadari. Huh. Okay. Okay. Hey, what happened to our expedition? It's been a little quiet. Boys, <laughs> you, uh, you still there? Spider Tsunami 1. Run. <laughs> success. Most managed to outrun the swarm. A success? I lose 200 soldiers? Damn. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. Give me that mercantilism. Huge. Massive, actually. Game changing. I need that. I need that mercantilism. How dare you? How dare you make me boost mercantilism? Uh, troll Minister. Disagreeing Advisor. Spider Tsunami 2. Seek shelter or keep running. Probably keep running. Should probably just keep running. Prestige hit for the barely literate advisor. Ah, I'm still be fine. It's just some prestige. Keep running. 75 loot. I don't know how we gained loot from out running, but I'll take it. <laughs> 25 admin though, huge. Uh, I can insult a rival again. Send an insult. Thank you. Running. Keep running or see if the wave has diminished. Stop. Spiders are gone. Way is clear. 150 loot. This is not going to end well. I already know this is not going to end well. I have so much money too. Look, we've got manufacturers in pretty much all of our provinces. Like, there are some that don't. But most do. Build one there. Build one there. Save, you will need big money for the left side mission? Hmm. End event. The spider tsunami is done, and the way is clear to Yidab's nest. Repay them and send them back out. Easy, bro. What? what, what it's so difficult. Be, 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 be. There's no threat you took ages to form? Good. I didn't know I was speedrunning. I wanted to do all of the other missions, too. The funny will start soon? I hope not. We're only at 25 pandemonium. I hope the funny doesn't start soon. 
That would be not so great. Much easier game the truth is designed for. Rest easy. Good. I like easy games. <laughs> Drilling cannon shells. N okay. Nothing more needed to say. Uh, artificial <laughs> to do. What does it give us? Uh, ten percent artillery combat ability and plus two artillery levels versus available fort. I kind of want to lock in this artillery damage from the back row. I'll give up gene food cultivation. We can chase some rockets. Okay, how many people are we up against here? Okay, a lot of them are out there, though. Where are Ilium's troops? There's 41 there. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize I was at war with Segnir. Okay, well, just keep seizing them down. <laughs> Lack of to-do? That's how to-do it is. That's how fancy it is. It's so to-do that they don't even need to say to-do. Okay, all of you, move in. <clears throat> we shall take over this section of the mountains. Boys, we've lost a cav. We've lost a cab to rebels. Right. We have more unrest. Right. Right. Uh, we need to upgrade this. Okay. To wait a couple months. Uh, rig the election. I want to win. Fair enough. No, the erectors? No. I need monarch points. We have things we need to develop. We'll vote for the erectors next time, okay? With the erect- Don't you worry. Those those grand erectors will be... Um, uh, doing their thing soon enough. They'll be rising up. Yes, they'll be rising up the the ranks of. <laughs> 82. 82 Adam points for tech. Funny. Funny. <laughs> Doing you a solid. Yes. Doing us a solid. Helping us out. Uh, relieving us of some pressure, you could say. Working very hard. True. Wait, you're going to increase the size of Massive Shaft? But why? It's already so massive. You need more? More massive? You know what I need more of is fucking force limit, man. Build that. Build that. <clears throat> Massive shaft grows every update. Really? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Uh, fill that. I keep them actually microwing my things here. Make sure that every single little one of these is built. I'm out of mill points. We should probably save those for when we do this. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Grab this hold. I'm assuming you have a fort on it. You do. Make you guys move. Segdir, I kind of want to piece you out. Break your alliance with Gorbarad. Actually, keep your alliance with Gorbarad. Might help me reset the truce faster. More of some money. Thank you. Ilium is getting rolled. Because they went and they, they took all their troops to Segdir. They are currently having a not so great time. You think I have the manpower? Oh, I have the manpower and I have the money. But I have to wait for my mill points to raise back up again. So. 
Become immune to the poor uniforms event? Never mind, I'm in. I'm in. God, I hate that event. Well, we did it. We've uh, reached the minimum cost I'm pretty sure that you can pay for tech. Pretty sure. Oh, I just hit my desk. Here we go. 30 admin points. And our Diplo costs 227. But that's okay. Uh, no one's going to do this in 1450, so... True. <laughs> 1444. Restart. We gotta beat the gnomes. We gotta be faster than the gnomes. Okay. And we can dig a hold for Kozenad. An expedition menu. Yidab's nest. Organize the expedition. Start the preparation. Send the manpower. 10,000 guys. We should probably max out our organization here again. Probably a decent idea, considering that we're going to, have to go fight some mega spider or something. Now imagine all clan with homebrew. That would be quite something. Would be quite something. Wait, gnomes can get... Gnomes can actually get minimum tech costs in 1450? How? Teach me your secrets. I want to know. Not for any reason in particular. I just want to know. Like, literally minimum, or like, facetiously minimum? Exactly, takes like 1470. Okay, I mean, it's still impressive, but okay. Uh, Alright, that is converted. In fact, we can go through and get rid of probably a lot of edicts. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, we had a lot of dev edicts that we have had uh, sitting around, just in case we need to use them to get our fun guy up and running. Ooh, that 70 year one though, that's probably just me forgetting about it. The other ones though, I knew they were here. I just didn't really feel like getting rid of them. It didn't matter. <clears throat> uh, you know ideas for it? And a scholar ruler. You like the color of all clan. <laughs> I don't I don't know. <laughs> uh-uh, no way. No way, it's too green. It's too green! Is blinding to look at. Okay, what do I want to convert now? What are the odds? Okay, well, the odds of converting Kugdir are currently zero because we're diggy diggy hole. Uh, we may want to accept the agate dwarves so we can actually convert it. We'll see though. Uh, preparations, organization, map the terrain, map the terrain. As for supplies, we have so much admin points. Okay, I'm gonna make Under Kingdom Neon Vomit Pink. Yes, actually, that's very good. It's very good. All right, the Siege of Gorbarad is over. So we'll now move on to here. And I don't know what exactly we wanna take from Gorbarad. Obviously, a lot is the correct answer. Social reform? Uh, I don't actually care about the Republican tradition. Like, we want to border with Arg Ordston. <sighs> this is going to take a while. <laughs> I can't even get a border with their capital. This is this is going to take a while. This, this is going to take a while. Yeah, we have 10% admin efficiency. Um... We even have the court admin policy. Right? Wait, I thought court and admin gave us... Uh, there's court creation cost. Huh. Meta chaos? Oh, meta chaos is ready. Alright, click the button. We got a really hot box again. Alright. We're just hot boxing these holds. <clears throat> There's so many events. Well, we just really like hotboxing, I guess. Uh, horsing around, the ever-wise, ever-brilliant, ever-magnanimous, and often befuddled President Zaversog Redfeast has recently appointed a stallion to a senior advisory position. 
no doubt after a particularly successful bout of experimentation with some of the pharmaceutical's creations. Despite some initial questions and concerns being raised over how the president Zafirzog Red Feast managed to get a horse this far into the serpent spine and why it was granted this position, the efficiency of the tax collectors it oversees have actually increased since its elevation. Hail to Glitterhoof! Long may he reign. No horsing around. Till 1653, 10% national tax. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you say that I have RNG generator, but I'm so afraid that that RNG is going to die in the multiplayer game. Because our starting ruler doesn't have stats. It's random stats, random traits, and then we need to get a three shock general as well. So, uh, and then, on top of that, we have to pray the Raj doesn't protect any of the other elephant dudes. It's going to be a whole lot. MP's on Thursday. Thursday, 11 a.m. My, my time. Which is an hour earlier than stream usually starts. Can implement ruler stats for the elephant lords if you want. <laughs> well, I would appreciate that. Giving me a nice 666 powerful mage leader at the beginning. Uh, they've already locked in on what version of the bitbucket they're using. So, unfortunately for me, no. <laughs> I will simply have to hope and pray. Pray that I do not get a 111. Oh god. I need someone with really good mill. Really good mill for the MP. Otherwise, we're gonna have a very bad, bad time. I don't even care if it's an embezzler. I just can't have it be like Craven or something. You get a 000. If there's a 000, I, I will cry. I will cry. That's like the one thing I definitely cannot afford to have. A minus one, minus one, minus one. That would just be impressive. I'd be proud of that. Dog eater teleports to the Raj. <laughs> he just wants to help out. He just wants to help out. Be a homie. Give me some time off, you know. Uh, call the update version an important security patch. <laughs> Flawless. Fla Flawless. There's no evidence of any conspiracy. First session will be super peaceful, just migrate around the jungle, staying away from the Tikidians. I'm glad your first session will be super peaceful. I'm glad. <laughs> I will have to, uh, you know, quickly try and eat as much as I can before uh, Prussia Tigers decide to come up in my direction. And that's assuming that Prussia Tiger doesn't try and become the Raj, which is going to be a whole thing. By the time you upload this VOD, MP will be long done? Nah. Well, I mean, I could hold it off. <laughs> then you're right. There is no no evidence. <clears throat> uh, Gorber, I got a mission to read. Yes, I know. Uh, at some point, we will have to play the Volcano Dwarves. Definitely a tag that sounds like it will be lots of fun. If our heart becomes Raja, you are so fucked. Thanks. Thanks for reinforcing that. Appreciate it. Appreciate you reinforcing the reality I'm aware of. <laughs> Uh, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Surely that won't happen. I just have to figure out how... I have to figure out how the Raj mechanics work so I can sabotage the Raj enough to where it doesn't work. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that exactly, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, I do think I might be able to finish migrating for the end of the first session with a smidge of luck. Uh, to do. Manufactories. Uh, I'll take the stab. Thanks. All right, we can do this final expeditionary thing now. I kind of forgot about it. I kind of forgar. I don't really care about the morale. No need party share. Let's do it. <clears throat> Be giga disloyal, and that might help. I mean, obviously I wouldn't be loyal, but, uh, it does mean that the Raj could, like, protect people and stop me from doing things, and that would be very annoying. The best Rogeria path to choose? I don't know. The Brood Layer. We now stand at the precipice of Yidab's domain. Before we press on, we are taking the time to properly prepare, sharpening weapons and preparing magical scrolls. Before long, there is little to do. Let the fight begin. Wow, they're actually, like, preparing things? Like, like real adventures? Weird. <clears throat> weird, weird, weird. 
Uh, breaching the precipice. There she is, our Mark, the ravenous broodmother Yadab, mother of all spiders, master of the Underdark. She seems to be engrossed in her meal, which unfortunately appears to be some of our comrades. The time is to strike is now before she spots us. Ooh. Let's cast some enhancement magic on ourselves. Empowered through magic. Through some carefully quiet chanting, our wizards have managed to prepare some discreet spells to buff the frontline warriors. We gain organization. Which we already have maxed out. Okay. Okay. Uh, prepare some traps. Devious traps. A pair of rogues, careful to avoid any protruding webbing, skillfully prepare several fire, oil, and pitfall traps, ready to make short work of the broodmother and her brood. Oh, this is going to go terribly. Hopefully that will be enough. What elephants are you talking about? Uh, oh, they got, they got eaten. These ones. The Gonkadin guys. Elephant Lords of the Raj. Sorry, not Gonkadin. Gonkadin's over here. The Gonvenage. Gon Gonvenage? The... Yeah. Gonvenage. Gonkadin's over here. <clears throat> Man. Ilium, I really wish that you hadn't let your stuff fall. We have grab... Or Calavar doesn't have a capital fort. Interesting life choices. Interesting dwarven life choices. Uh, okay. And we can now breach the precipice. Here we go. Yes. What the f... f what, what is happening at the bottom of my screen? <laughs> what is that? The rend... The rending? What do you mean, the rending? <laughs> Zoom all the way out and it will disappear? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Does that mean the rending is happening? To the command? Are we gonna get to watch the command go boom? Or is, not the, is the rending not implied in, or in yes? Like, it's gonna kill the command, right? There's no way. There's no way the wait. Hmm. Hold on. One second. One second. Pause. Um. I don't know what version of the Bitbucket we're in for the multiplayer game. I'm sure we fine. Or we just flip to, uh, you know, different religion. Uh, the battle. With a burst of speed, the party rushes forward to face our deadly foe. She rears back, clearly taken by surprise, but quickly regaining her composure and hissing in defiance. We must make our move. Use the traps. Lots of lag. Lots of lag. Okay, we're, we're just sieging. Uh, success. Yadab fell into our trap. All right, now she's dead. GG. <laughs> we win. Cool. So advice for MP. Repair every temple you can, no matter how expensive. Do not crack the Karashi. But it's so good. Fight number two. <laughs> oh, the second phase of the boss battle. For real? Phase two? Yadab spins a large web. Prepare defenses. It even tells me it's hard. Success. Some of us got stuck, but we healed some hurt. Gain 0.5 morale, lose 5 organization. Okay, we've unseized that successfully. Uh, we need to get Abdul Tungur out of this war. That's the main thing now. I'm not going to spend my time unseizing everything for my ally. They'll figure it out. You dab fight three. Prepare antidote is easy. Prepare defenses is medium. Uh, attack is medium. You dab draws away and starts dribbling venom. I mean, it feels like it would make sense to prepare an antidote, right? 
Why choose hard options? It's more exciting that way. <laughs> That's really the only thing. That's really the only reason. It's more exciting. I could choose all the easy ones, but meh. You know what? Just send the goblins in. Send them straight in. We we hurt her. We got hurt back. We don't care. We got plenty of soldiers. All right, there are more goblins where those came from. The throw is strong. No, the content brain is strong in this one. You mean? Oh god, the rending is happening still. Is the rending the reason why my game seems to be struggling right now? It sure do be having a little bit of struggle. Should have any performance impact? Oh, okay. Well, then my computer's just struggling. Fair enough. Spiderlings. He now runs deeper into the nest and releases spiderlings. Hey, I see this. That was, that was in Baldur's Gate 3. Good fight, plus found some loot. A revolt. Uh, my president, Zafrazog Redfest. Um, the people of our glorious nations are getting mad and uppity because, well, everything works properly. In fact, that's what ticks them off. Everything works great, and so there is nothing they could abuse or use against us, and so they decided to answer peace and competence with a revolt. Man, these goblins sure are interesting little creatures. Command doing command things? No, they're not at war. I really just want you to just leave. There we go. And now we're at 99% war score. Send the boys home. We are going to immediately go to war with uh, Arg Ordston, by the way. Not today, but tomorrow. Monopoly company formed. I'll take the Diplo points. Devastation map mode. There you go. It's not too bad. They got some prosperity in here. I mean, that's not good. But that's just because it's occupied by rebels, owned by Guaman. That's nothing. Got 33 here. I mean, that temple has some devastation on it. And Dame's Tear. That temple has some devastation on it. That, I'm sure all this devastation being on temples is completely, uh... Ran Golden Highway under construction. Fancy. Rending started 40 years ago? Oh. I'm sure it'll beat the command, though. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. I'm sure the command will fall. <laughs> uh, we can take a cave. I think I'd rather take this fort, to be honest with you. Than another road. This is going to take forever. Damn. All right, well, guess we're just going to be on that grind. We'll be on that war grind, you know? It is what it is. Yeah, Skewer Drake is at war with Segdir. I don't really want to go get caught in that. Uh, Yadab fight number four. Yadab is nowhere to be seen. Send out scouts or magical scrying. Let's scry. Success. We managed to avoid her next sneak attack. Yeah, what's up, boss battle? What's up? Okay, we're at 6.08. Oh, God. <laughs> the rending bug. <laughs> it's scary. End event. Yidab runs away? What? What? What do you mean she runs away? What kind of baloney is that? Runs away? There's a fourth level? What? Fancy. All right, well, we can at least start this war now. Declare for uh, Virkal Scum Deer. I can even call him Kuzrugan. And I will. 
because that's less work that I hopefully have to do. Hopefully. We'll see. Plus, we'll have plenty of problems with Jad on our border and whatnot. We could be friends. Let's improve... Yeah, keep improving relations with them. If I can ally these two, that means that Gawed can't expand into uh, Eskin anymore, and then I have homies. Gotta catch some Zs. Right, Meta Chaos. Let us cook! I bring ill tidings, my Lord President, if admittedly somewhat amusing. The discombobulatorium is demanding we act. You see, there's a fad going around among their students that has led them to be a little too interested in their assigned curriculum. Rather than slacking off and doodling weapons of mass destruction in true goblin fashion, they've taken to stealing important discombobulatorium equipment to melt it down into scrap metal. While this is a commendable degree of enthusiasm, it wouldn't hurt for us to supply them with some free copper wiring to avoid anything truly important going missing. Woohoo! Free copper wiring! <laughs> Minus 10% national tax, minus 10% idea cost, gain 5 pandemonium. Hey, that pandemonium's getting a little high. Wait, we can permanently increase our static artificer capacity by 3? And gain 230,000 manpower? But lose 5% morale of armies. Dang. Dang. Yeah, I'll do that, though. That's static artifice capacity. That gives us 10 available capacity, which means we could put something else in, like portable turrets for siege ability. Let's do that. Uh, the natural unrest, though, it's fine. It's fine. Okay... Let's do this fourth layer. I want to make sure that we do this expedition before we call it for today. Let's just hope that we succeed first try, yeah? Map, 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 map. Don't care about the morale. Uh, 10,000 manpower. Supplies, reserve the food. Thank you. All right. Follow that spider. Get they asses. That's going to take them forever to get... 42%? Did you go in no offensive or something? Yep. They sure did. They sure did. Uh, there is something in the mission tree you need to balance out pandemonium-wise. Gotcha. People ask for throwing mages for 5 artifice capacity and absolutism when you have a way to permanently increase that. Yeah. I mean, they might not have known, to be fair. Do they have no forts? Oh. Oh. I didn't realize the war was going to be that easy. Uh, Yidab has fled. Yes, we know. How long are we going for tonight? Uh, when we finish that Yadab mission, that Yadab uh, expansion thing, then we'll be done. Go after Yadab. Loot her cave or rush for... No, we're looting the cave. You found treasure. Yeah, no, no, no. We're, we're looting the cave. Come on. Who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? All right, now we rush forward. Found the way without trouble. 0.5 morale. I'm not going to take my time. No, I'm going to get all the sweet, sweet loot. Obviously. What? Take your time? What kind of stupid elven propaganda idea is that? Take your time. No, dog. I'm going to take stuff and things. Plan peace deal? I don't know. At this rate, probably like two provinces. Uh, preferably as many of the roads as I can take. Yeah, if I can pull off... What? 5, 7, 9, 8, 10, 8. Wait a second. Why were you so much more expensive? I don't know. There's no hostile core creation cost. They removed all that. Why? 
What? Like, it's not that much more development. Last road is 81 dev? What? In front of the hold? It's 23. 16. Huh. I don't know why it was so expensive. We haven't gained... We, there's no absolutism. Remove all ideas of absolutism from your mind. We're not going to have any. Ever. Uh, Yadib shoots the roof. Attempt to tame her? Bro, we have to try. We have to try. We have to try. Come on. You, you can't You can't see that option and be like, Yeah, no, I'm actually going to attack her. Like, we got to try. It will probably fail and we will probably die. But if it succeeds, it would be cool. And therefore, that's what we're going to do. Rule of cool. We've already taken their capital. Uh, we should probably push out and deal with Bulwar. Because Rugen will probably deal with this. So you guys actually just go take Bulwar proper. Uh, you have 60 more tries worth of manpower? Yeah, we have so much manpower. Okay. Si wait, 60? Did you say 60 more tries? That's not how math works. We have 660 more tries. 660. It takes 10k per thing. We got so many tries. So many tries. Right? Yes. Math. Uh, Alright, we'll vote for the Erectors. He's a 642. I don't need admin points. Admin points are something I do not need. Well, that's not true, but... Um, there's no construction cost one. Let's go for production efficiency, just to just to see what happens. Just to really give our economy a good kick. Okay, you guys are making your way out. You guys can get all of this siege down inside. Right. Okay, okay. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get a border with Orcalivar here. Unless. Unless we just go through uh, Shastun Deer. Then we can. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, I guess that tracks... That he has increased construction cost, but like, come on, man. Come on. Okay, attempt to tame. Attempt to tame Yadab. Succeeding in fighting her increases the probability of successfully taming her. Oh. So you're saying we went a little too early on this. That's not how math works. 260 divided by 10 is 66. Yeah, that's how math works. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Food? Yeah. Food didn't work. Uh-oh. 33% chance of no effect. Oh, no. Guys, the no effect. Whatever shall we do? The no effect. There, go there, go there, go there. Food didn't work. All right, well. Guess we'll just have to show her how cool we are. Hey, we gotta go, boys. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Everybody run away. Everybody run away. I found Arg Orchton's army. They were waiting for us. Alright, back up. Back up. Well, we you know, keep seeing that. Never mind. Yadab fight number one. Okay, so if we attack her first, then it's easier to tame her. Go for an all-out attack. Took some casualties, but dealt some damage. Scorch everything. Can I get you out in time? Nope, you're dead as hell. Okay. 
We've been bamboozled. We've been outrun. Out encircled. I didn't expect him to just be sitting in the mountains, and I don't know why I didn't expect that. Okay. We're gonna tame her again. Alright. Not gonna lie, I'm way more focused on the events than I am on the war, and that's probably not a good thing. For the health of our nation. Okay, we're gonna call in Irlium. That way, people have to siege them down to get over here now. You're gonna sneak out. There's no forts anywhere. That sucks. Well, how am I supposed to, like, defend the land that I've taken? That's the barely literate advice he got the stab event? Huge. Massive. Maybe he's learned how to read now. Maybe he can read now. It's possible. It's possible. Are they just gonna run away into the deep woods here? Is that really what this is gonna come down to? When can you meta chaos? Uh, not now. I know it doesn't really answer the question, but not now. Uh, we can convert that. I don't... Don't know if I really want to take this fight or not. What I would like is a better general. Brian, you're in. Kick some ass. Like, we've got to take the fight somewhere. Get rid of this reinforced speed guy. I don't... I don't need reinforcement. I need... Discipline. Reinforced speed? What kind of... Baloney is that? Alright, we're going to show some force to this... Look, okay? Sometimes, you just got to walk up to the spider, slap it in the face, and be like... <clears throat> I'm in charge now, and that's it. That's all you need. It's tamed. Easy. Easy. Okay, now we're going to chase Arg Ortson back, and we're going to wipe his armies. They might kill thousands of us. We have millions more. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Just keep throwing more goblins at the problem, and the problem will be solved. One way or another. No, stop walking. I don't know why they're so determined to path through here. Like, I guess it's probably faster because this is Terra Incognita. It's probably what it is. I love the rending bug. It's so, it's so confusing. Uh, Yidab is tamed. Unlocks Beastiary Yidab the Broodmother as a privilege for the adventurer's estate. Repay them in full and let them rest. Okay, so what does that do? Yidab the Broodmother. Minus two adventure max privilege. Unlocks the mercenary company Yidab's Vanguard. Mercenary company does not cost army professionalism when hired. Okay, well, what does that do? Hey, where'd his army go? Hire them. You got away from the month tick. Gotta wait for the month tick. Yadav's van... Thirty-six thousand cavalry. But the stats, the modifier, it doesn't matter. It's not about the modifiers. It's not about the modifiers. It's about having the cav. God, that rending bug is going to be miserable for the rest of this run. Is he hiding his army in here? No. Oh, he just ran away to siege down my ally, who also refuses to... Uh, 
build forts for whatever reason. That's 36,000 spiders right there. It's a lot of spiders. A lot of dudes. A lot of dudes. Where are... Well, I guess this... Well, you can deal with these. You're right there. Can you get the Merc Company as a centaur? I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. No? Why not? Is it, is it a special all-clan thing? Doesn't mean you can't swap your military, though, right? Special all-clan thing. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know why you... Like, it's not worth switching to Centaur to use that, but, I mean, hypothetically... You could. Centaurs get their mercs disabled? True. True. The fourth floor. Oh, wait. So in the regular one, does the big spider just gets away? Just fucking leaves? Just heads out? Again, it's not worth it to switch for centaur mill just for that. That's why I just fucked up. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what a ripoff. I've been pissed. Uh, also, our ally's going to get full occupied. Um, who do we want to go after here? We should probably take care of Arnanen. Uh, late game. We're in late. Well, we're kind of getting. We're getting to late game. Mid game, late game wars are the worst. Like I've got the dude. All of his core land is occupied, and we still got to get his homies out of here. There's another ten percent more goods produced. It doesn't help, though, that my ally doesn't have any forts. But even if he did, it also wouldn't matter much, because he's an orc. So... Yeah, it wouldn't really matter at the end of the day. Wouldn't really matter. Orc Helivar has cut off my access. Are you serious? I'm literally, like, at war with one of your, like, your largest threat, other than me. To be fair, I am their largest threat, but other than me, okay? Uh, Bulwar, can I get you to break your alliance with Argordston? No. Whatever, just get out of my war. Is it private contractors? We'll gain the corruption, it's fine. I mean, today, yeah, we should... Ooh, Castle of Court. We should probably try and finish this war, though. Oh, dude, that bug is going to drive me insane. The final straw. To do. Hey, what do they mean by that? What, what does it mean by that? Get ready for some pandemonium. Or... Optional contributions will be granted to the shamans. We lose one stability... Monthly increase of pandemonium. Minus 40% national tax. Oh, are people not happy about all the taxes we've been giving them? Is that what's going on here? That's probably what it is. There will be no compromise. You'll pay your taxes and you will like it. I hope I don't come to regret that decision. We have to do run against a lot of to-do stuff. No, a lot of the to-do stuff is just like flavor. Right, so I think it's fine. I, literally the dev of the mission tree is here. So if it wasn't ready, you'd think they might have mentioned something by now. You you'd think. You think they might have been like, hey, no, don't do this yet. Uh, you have no cannons, but I'm gonna send you out to Jad. Mission tree is only ten percent down. Oh yeah, great, great, yeah, yeah, yeah. good, good timing, good timing. Buy that down. I don't know what to do with my admin points, man. Like, am I really just about to do, like, a ton of admin dev? Ten percent is one hundred percent true. True. If you look close enough, it's the same thing. Your holds are admin dev for you already? Yeah, I know. But, like, we're about to max out.
Sure. Then we'll just dig everything and it will be great. It'll be great, it will be grand. Are Rector and other really bad jokes his work? Uh, well, let's use some thought process here. They created the mission tree, which means they did the things, then yes. Uh, the Tithic Rebellion, Greg's Last Stand. In a twist of audacious defiance, Vez Uzin clan is rattled by a backwoods uprising, led by a lone goblin named Greg. Fueled by an unyielding belief that goblins should be forever free from the shackles of taxation, Greg has rallied his clodhopper friends in a whimsical yet determined revolt against the penta pandemonium. Chaos and laughter fill the air as goblins of all shapes and sizes, armed with outlandish weaponry and dubious battle plans, march alongside Greg in a display of rebellious fervor. As Greg's forces make their stand, a mix of giggling, trepidation, and a hint of sympathy reverberates throughout the realm. While their cause may be tinged with absurdity, the sincerity of their conviction is undeniable. Greg's actions speak volumes in 20 pandemonium. Sorry, Greg's. You die here. Nothing personal. Uh, Airnet Veer Rebels have popped up now. Capture of Greg Cletus' uprising. We got Greg, but his pal Cletus is still going. Greg has not outlived his usefulness. This is a good idea. This is a good idea. I can't see this going wrong. Arnon is getting ready to peace out of this war. They are not liking what's going on. Capture of Cletus. Floyd's uprising. We got Cletus. But his pal Floyd is coming for us. He's a funny guy. Spare him. Well... Can I even afford to do that? Yeah. Sure. Just saying. This is a lot of pandemonium. You need to redo Fox Spirits? Yes. Uh, we probably won't redo Fox Spirits, though, until full release. Because, uh, obviously, we want to make sure that the rending is absolutely 100% ready to go. Because, you know, that's kind of their whole thing. Hey, I spent all my admin points. That's not good. I had too many, and now I have too few. And they seized their capital back because these dwarves don't build forts. So whack-a-mole? I'm not sure if it's whack-a-mole or, or what. I don't know exactly what's happening here. But we'll keep smacking them down, as you know. Is this the last one? No. No, it is not. Floyd down, but his brother rose up to help him. Mercy? That is 73,000 troops. I don't know if we can beat that. With these troops. Not the Fox Nation again? Yes. The Fox Nation will have to happen again at some point. Don't worry, though. We'll play some dwarves before then. Yeah. Okay. Here goes nothing. We have no cannons. Doesn't really matter, though. Jerry the Destroyer's March. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Where are these ones? Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Mercy, this is a good idea. Surely. Surely. Are you just trying to get me to gain pandemonium here? Is that what's going on? I can't lower my pandemonium yet. Mercy. I'm sure it'll be fine. Here's the problem. I don't see... 
where those buttons went. Isn't right button to lower? No, right button is gaining. So you think the event chain might be but the hey, that's not a good that's not a good sign. Unless it's going to do nothing. God, the rending bug. Is there any way to fix that rending bug, by the way? Or am I just shit out of luck? Okay, new Corveld Falls. Arnanen, I need you to peace out, man. You're really annoying. You're not even worth my time. You're ugly. You're bad. Give me $200. There is a requirement for this chain to finish it. Well, that's not... good. Uh, I mean, we can go back right now. Like, do we need to go back to the beginning of the event chain? Because we can do that. Nah? Okay. Well, then we'll just... We'll just call it here, then. Just so we don't go any farther or anything. Uh, which means we don't get to finish this war, but, I mean, it's... It's whatever. It's just a late game war where... Everybody has a bunch of forts I have to get through, except for the person I'm attacking. And so that's gonna take forever, but... We will get back to this... Tomorrow! Yippee! Alright, all clan stuff. Also, take a look at the mission tree off stream so I can actually see what exactly we need to be doing other than just expanding throughout the mountains pretty much consistently. Uh, and we'll have to fight the command at some point. So we'll see. Uh, for those of you that know, I am going to be taking part in a multiplayer game of Ambinar starting on Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is an hour earlier than stream usually starts. We'll be playing as the elephants. Well, we're not as elephants, but elephant riders in Ben's bid. So that will be very interesting and fun, I hope. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Pretty good chance we're going to die, but hey, just part of the part of the multiplayer life, right? It's a pretty large lobby. There's over 50 people, I think, that have been seated. So uh, it should be interesting. There should be lots of, of stuff to do and people to, to fight. Probably is what it's going to come down to. Maybe we can all be friends. It's it's possible. You never know. What if we're all just homies? It's possible. Uh, let's see here. Let's find someone who maybe is playing some Ann Benar. Maybe. Oh, my hair is all out. I got to get a haircut, man. Damn. 47 last year? Oh, is it 47? Do we have some people drop? Some people drop away? All right. Uh, E4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyone playing some Anbinar? Nope, just a lot of base game stuff. Just a lot of base game stuff, which, hey, fair enough. Uh, but we'll just wrap it up here for today then. So uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.